Welcome to the OSRS podcast. We talk to RuneScape content creators about RuneScape content. I am one of your hosts, Mint Mad Cow, followed by. What's going on, guys? Rakes as always. And it's me, Rakes Hello. <laughs> so today we are blessed with the presence of a, well, the only PvP hardcore Iron Man who has not died, not planked, and actually survived. survived boys. Survived long enough to complete his original goals. Telly Tubby King, how are you doing, dude? I am doing diddly do. Thank you for having me, guys. Hey, no problem, <laughs> man. No problem. So, do you want to let the guys know? Because uh, I'm sure there'll be some people, a lot of people are going to know who you are, but what is it your content is actually around? What do you do in RuneScape? Um, well, right now, I just finished up my PP Hocker. I'm in series. Over the past year, I've made about. 34, 35 episodes of this series, and it's gone a long way. And right now, I am going to be making a new Hawker Ironman. It's going to be do worldy content very soon. I'm kind of waiting for those worldy changes to come out. But yeah, oh, yeah, pretty much my content is pretty much around Hawker Ironman stuff, doing really risky, uh, really risky content. Nothing too, nothing too boring. I want to keep it special. I want to do like something people haven't already, you know. I want to do something people haven't done before. So, with this new PvP Hardcore, what's going to be unique about that? What are you think? Oh, it's not, it's not going to be PvP, it's going to be like, worldy stuff. I want to try and go for uh, like, you know, the Revenant weapons, you know, bosses are the wilderness. That's, that's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going <laughs> to be, be very crazy. hard. It's, it's going to be something similar to like, what Poison Potion did. I really liked his series, really got inspired by it, and I don't think he... Um, finished getting like full mage set. I forgot what it's called from the Larin's chest. Oh, um, yeah. Dragon, oh, Dragon Heart. Heart. Yeah, 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 I don't think he ever finished yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. I want to. I want to kind of give it a shot. It looks really fun, and especially with, like the new worldy changes coming out, it might That'll even be, be like you know more challenging, more better to do. Hell yeah, man! Yeah. So, what were your actual goals on the uh, the series you've just finished? Because I think I I ain't gonna lie. I watched the last few episodes. I'm sorry, bro. It didn't start popping up into my feed until like maybe a month ago. Go. And uh, I know your account was freaking stacked. But what were your goals? And yeah, what were they? What did you manage to accomplish? Uh, although the PvP hawk I'm in, I didn't really have like an end goal. I kind of just decided when to end it. Um, I've pretty much been playing the account for, um, I think I made the account in like August and it's July now, so I don't really know what end goal is, like pretty much what comes to most people, um, from C Engineers PP Hockey Ironman, his end goal was to get an Inferno cape, um, but for me, I was like, I've never done Inferno before, I, I know, I've, I'll suck at this, all this shit, and then <laughs> I eventually tried the Inferno, never done it before, and then I got to, I don't know if you saw my video, but I got to Zuck like, three or four times and then i just kept dying to that ranger man the last set ranger it just kept destroying me i don't know why and i just kept running out of brews and and i wasn't working out so like and then during that time as well i had all this all these items like all this gear and i'm just so incredibly tanky um the people that hunt me they even say like dude this this telly to be guy is just so incredibly tanky you know it's gonna be impossible to kill him unless we like you know get him in multi or something and i have all these items and stuff and then you know I just thought to myself, you know, there's nothing really else for me to go to get on this account. Um, like the only stuff I'm working on recently would be like raids, TOB, but you know, you have to do it on normal worlds and like the instance places. So it doesn't really feel like the whole PvP whole time in spirit because yeah. you know it's not the PvP world. And then like you know, you might think in Slayer, you know, could be a, a no option for me. But like you know, I get I get notified Slayer. That's Hydra, and that's just the instance as well. So I don't really see the point of continuing it. And then. Another reason why I decided to wrap it up, so yeah, pretty much in a nutshell, I didn't really have any goal, I just decided to end it when I, you know, felt like it was best. Also set like the highest total level of any PvP Hockey Iron Man, felt that was a really cool accomplishment. Um, I got a ton of items, the Gobba's Dungeon, you know, BCP, Staff of the Dead, Zami Spear, got all the stuff in PvP worlds, you know, 90 Slayer, so much, so many items, I just felt really accomplished with what I got. And then... This account is pretty much the only account I have. I don't really have another account. Well, like, I have another account, but it's so it's so trash. Like, it's so shit. I don't ever want to play it. And then, I don't know, I just felt really accomplished. I wanted to play the, the account in normal worlds. And so far, I'm having an absolute blast with it. I definitely am proud of the decision I made. Good stuff, bro. Now, 
Racy, before we get deeper, shouldn't we talk about the light goal for this video? Like I we think, always do. Dude, I think we should. And I think, I think... Self-punishment. It should be, it should be the humble rice cup that announces today's light goal. Oh, because he always no. worms his way out of it, man. Rice, rice. Do you want to? <laughs> Actually, first off, do you want to? I could do this for you if you want. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Thank you got you. it? Okay. We, right. we've already, Go for it, buddy. We, we've prepped this for a long time. All right, boys. So if we hit our new threshold of, of likes that we've never reached before, which is 600, 600, 600, 6 with two zeros afterwards, if we reach this in this video, then we're going to take Mr. Mint Mad Cow. Wait, 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 wait. I thought we were doing the hardcore <laughs> oh, Iron we Man. I thought we were doing the TLV. Podcast. Are we doing we the can, TLV we can do or it the all. hardcore? <laughs> we're, doing, we're, not, we're not doing it all. All right. <laughs> we're not doing it all. We're saving one for them. Let's okay, do, well, let's do the TOB. TOB. Mate, everybody yeah, yeah. on the, the podcast U on YouTube wanted yeah, to do TOB. That's been asked for so long. We should do okay, TOB okay. is what we should do. 600 so six, likes. Yeah. Yeah. 600 likes. Let's we'll take so your we'll boy. Take TOB. We'll take the real man with the beard into TOB. And yeah. we'll try to podcast and stream it in the same time. I keep telling them it's going to be real bad, dude. I just, <laughs> I just keep telling them, but I guess they got experience. Or, or you, will we? It's we will not see. that hard. It's really Boys, not that hard. Do you Normal think we should also give away the 100 mil? Because, what? hey, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> the last episode. Why are you episode try to give did, away gold? Be, because Yo. I feel bad because a lot of people tried to get the 100 mil, but we didn't reach 1,000 likes. We don't got. Right, so give away gold here. It, it's it's yeah. up to Ray if he wants to. It's it's. Yeah, I don't really Rhea. care. Yeah, okay, there it is. Now. There it is. So six hundred okay. likes. We take Mint to Tob. We'll do a podcast while we're doing it, and we're we'll also give away a hundred mil. And if you want a chance of winning the hundred mil, please leave your RuneScape name in the comment section. And good luck, boys. Good that's, luck. That's so much. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll take Mint on a, on a story mode top, and then we'll take him on a normal. And then yeah, that'll be like a f middle of the content, you know. Dude, okay, we should. Oh, yeah. mate, we should. We should tutor. We should get Mint to kill the hard mode nightmare, and just watch him do it, and just tell him. That'll be to another do. day. That'll be another <laughs> light goal for another. What do you mean, how, how, like just me alone? How is that even? It's, I can't it's even a, do Jad. It's it. a solo <laughs> instance, man. It's so good. It's honestly okay, like. Okay, yeah, we save that for another another yeah, yeah. light goal. Right, he's getting okay. too excited. About yeah, six hundred likes, APDM. guys. It, dude, right. it's like. Mate, I'm not even kidding. Like, the only thing I do in RuneScape right now is Hard Mode Nightmare and the Gauntlet, just because I want to get myself the blade. But, like, the Hard Mode Nightmare is a PVMer's wet dream. It's so good. It's like, if I can talk about it real quick, um, what what's the name of it, Reed? It's like the Faz something Nightmare? Well, that's, for Sani Nightmare, just call it Hard for Mode. Sony. Yeah, so the Hard Sony? Mode Nightmare. They, they've basically made it so it rewards you for being good and punishes you severely for being bad. Uh, if you get everything correct, if you don't mess up a single one of your prayers or anything like that, you take basically no damage. But if you mess up, like you can get two shots super easy. So it's like it, it's like end game PVM where you have to a hundred percent of the time focus on what you're doing. It's it's a good time. It really is. I, I'm a big fan of it. So yeah, doesn't doesn't sound that fun. Honestly, that's <laughs> yeah, learning that's, is, that's, but, mate. Yeah. Listen, if you want to, if you want to roam around the graveyard, otherwise known as the wilderness, for eight hours a day and finding nothing but people burying bones, then hey, be my guest, man. Yeah, you don't got to be that real, all right? Yeah. I just should have sounded like ass. You know, right. <laughs> we should we should get back to the Mister Teletubby. Yeah. So and, speaking and of it. hardcore Iron Man, all right. So for should we start with Q and A? Then is that what we're doing? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a Q and A list. Hey, um, so for hardcore, what's what's the closest you've you've come to dying, right, during oh. your journey? Oh my god, I got Darok bombed to like five HP, and I was live streaming myself on Discord <laughs> with like was 10 it goody? people. Was it goody? No, it was um, good. it was my friend. He's uh, definitely like one of the top hunters. Like we call them hunters, people that hunt PP hockey I men. Like actually, you know do it not just oh, not just people that go boys. around the game yeah yeah there's not just people that go around the game although you know people won't just look for people they're actually people that literally will hunt you um they even they try to get you from xp trackers they try to figure out what you're doing from a temple all that stuff it's really it's like it's really interesting like it's yeah it definitely adds to the game mode and then i felt i was doing barrows right and barrows is just it's so incredibly hard to die for me at barrows because i'm in this tanky gear i've got tons of brews 
And I did a, I did a little strategy, like a little sneaky thing that I bring a dragon spear with me. Um, so nice. when people knife you, you have to go through like two dialogue boxes to get in the, the, the tunnel thingy. And then what I do is I dig down, I bring my, my D spear out, and then I just spam click with the spec. I stun them and I can go in the coffin. I did that uh, for one video um, like a while back. It works really well. And then I was just doing barrows, and I lost you myself on Discord with like 10 of people just talking. I felt really confident. It's like, there's no way I'm going to die at barrows. No way. And then I dig down into Torag, and then I get Dark Bombed to like 4 HP, and everyone in Discord goes absolutely mental. I got chanced <laughs> so hard. That's amazing. Oh, and then I also have another chance that I almost died to Zora. I missed one of the pro flicks on Jad and uh, the Jad face. And I think I had like 30, 25 health and he could have hit that. Oh, But I've only had two chances. Yeah, really. he hit like 40, so. When uh, when did you start the hardcore? Like how long ago? How, how long has uh, journey been? I started two. I started one in, I think it was June or something. And I died in that one to a guy in Deep Water PK. Okay. I was an Australian pink. And when the guy logged in, the first thing I thought was, oh, yeah, sweet, free content. This is going to be really good for my video. Because I felt, I felt very confident tanking, because I've done it a lot in the past. I used the PK Deep Worldy a shit ton. And then, like, a few attacks as this guy got on me, I'm like, shit, I haven't done this for a year. And I got really nervous. And then the guy <laughs> just pulled at the AGS, and then I just completely missed the pro flick, and I just die. And then I remade the account the next day, and then I believe... And it was the next day, it was like... A week later or something. No, I made that in August. And yeah, I've pretty much been no-lifing from August to now. I mean, during the Twitter leaks, I did... I didn't play for like two weeks. I did... I, all I did was like AFK splash on a rat for two weeks during leagues. But yeah, I made this account in August. And, uh, hey, leagues is good. It's, it's pretty good, yeah. AFK splash for two weeks on leagues. It was a 96. Oh, the dark hit was a 96. Yeah, something like that. It was just... It was crazy. You and the... Cider was in the Discord call with me, I think, as well. Man, that was like such a good moment. And I think Solomission, uh, he almost killed me twice. Um, when you step over that rope going to the demonic gorillas, when so your screen goes black, right? And it yeah. goes back to normal when you step over that rope. That whole place is multi. And then there was one time I stepped over it, and there's a whole fucking team just waiting for me. I'm like, oh my god. And then I somehow managed to teleport out. And then Solomission, he showed me the clip, and he was spam clicking with a dragon spear. And then he did something with his cursor for like literally a split second. And that split second is when I went over the rope and he missed me. Man, he's a sweaty boy too, isn't he? He's oh, such, the a, next he's year, such man. a slime, bro. You hear that? He's such bro. a little slime boy. Right, he quick. also tried to get me again at Aberrant Spectres, Dark Bomb me. The exact same thing happened. He was man. spam clicking the floor above the spikes. He went to his uh, rapid heal prayer thing to get one HP. And that's when I came up and I teleported out. Well, I'm He's very glad to hear. Petition. Very glad to hear that. So I feel like the like obvious question to ask then is, uh, what did you think of Solo Mission's death, man? Oh god, like I love Solo Mission. He's such a good guy, but his death was dumb as fuck. <laughs> Mate, it was painful to watch. <laughs> it, was, he... it was so bad. I was like, what are you doing, my guy? I, think yeah, I don't he think just, he was happy about it either. I mean, the thing is, uh, like... I think he froze. Yeah, I, I think it's one of those things, like... Cerberus is, like, a... He got distracted uh, from a, the Cerberus. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? End. Because, yeah, it, it, like... I'm pretty sure it gained aggro over the PvPer, but the PvPer was able to TB him. And then he actually got kind of unlucky, because he got hit by the range and the mage attack from Cerberus. Like, not the ghost, like, the actual attack from the fucking dog. So yeah, he got he got stacked on the lava, bro. Yeah, yeah that, he got that as well. No, but when he actually died, the lava disappeared, and it was Cerberus's attacks that finished him off. I'm pretty sure, unless that is incorrect. Do we review that? No, I think the lava killed him at the end too. Yeah, Wait, I'm, he, I'm he was, have he was frozen. Was he frozen? Yeah, he got or... to, yeah, he got like he couldn't move right, and then the lava just you know just spammed damage over time, and he died. Yeah. Uh -huh. I yeah. don't know, man. I don't think it was a lame death. Personally, I think any hardcore that's yeah, able was, to even do Cerberus kind of is crazy. Know. And dying while doing Cerb is, is kind of badass, you know? Yeah. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Honestly, right. like, if he, it, 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 it would have been way... Like, it was pretty unfortunate because he got caught at the very last part of Cerberus. And that part of Cerberus, 
he often uh, does ghost and the lava pools back to back. So he he got like he got the worst time like he got hit by by the worst time possible at that boss. Do you think it's because of how long his neck is that he maybe like <laughs> <laughs> like like if he got caught at the beginning of Cerberus, he probably would have survived, you know? Cuz then there's no lavas. It's only lavas from the last 200 HP and and down. Mm-hmm. Which he he was at, so to like, to be fair, hey, like look, I just watched fair. it back and like I wouldn't say it was a a dumb death necessarily. Maybe him getting TB'd was because I think he didn't instantly tell you. He was a bit cocky and he like saw who was, but like he was TB'd frozen on top of a lava pool, hit by ghosts and also hit by Cerberus. Like he actually got smoked in that clip, which is super unfortunate. But um, mm-hmm. God, like I think in terms of PvP hardcores, solo missioning yourself, like you two were by far like the furthest ahead right like I, yeah I don't, I don't really know if there's any other pvp hardcores or um, the same same place there's a guy there's a guy called pip he's underrated he's like 19k subs and he made a really good pvp hot i mean he got like barrows gear and stuff yeah he's a and really then, good pk too, right yeah. oh yeah he's pip is probably the best kit pk i've ever seen he's that's so what good. that's what's happening to pkers nowadays man they're just they slowly switch, turning well, in either he regular can iron man or switch. hardcore pvp iron man they just morphing over time because and then there was there. a guy called uh zach that he made it pretty far too he had the highest he had he held the highest total level for a while and he got like barrels gear and stuff and he, he unfortunately disconnected oh, yeah. to a demonic ruler who who got godfathered in um pvp hardcore iron man was it c engineer was it solo was like someone was i know someone did it originally that wasn't a content creator but someone someone made that popular on youtube yeah it was someone, c engineer was it I think, I think it just started. C Engineer, pop, he made it very popular, but I, and I, then Solo Mission kind of like carried it for a while. You know? I, I think what he's saying is there is there was there anybody before who inspired C Engineer to do it? Mm, I can't remember. Um, well, I, feel like I, I tried it. Guy. I know there's definitely a guy. I was just saying, like, who was the first to make it popular on YouTube? Oh, right? that was C Engineer, a hundred percent. Yeah, hundred yeah, okay. percent. Okay. Because I, I, remember... I tried the series. Uh, months before C Engineer did it, and uh, Rexy, you even commented on it. And then I died. I died to an ogre. Completely blew my opportunity. <laughs> it, my first, my first uh... video on PvP Hard Common got like forty k thousand views in a few days, and that was massive to me years ago. Wait, you died to an ogre, but you're making fun of a uh, solo mission dying <laughs> at serve, huh? Okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, I, I died to an ogre instead of just remaking like a normal person. I, I just didn't for some reason. And then C Engineer, he did it months later. I'm not saying he copied me, but like, you know, he, he made it really special. I'm really glad that he did it because he made it boom. He made it pop in. He yeah, did. he was already kind of like. It was a golden opportunity that no one yeah. was taking. Yeah, he was it's already so, taking YouTube by storm. So you were doing but, it before it got really popular, which was going to be one of my questions because I asked how long you did it because I have no idea the timeline for hardcore PvP mode. But for those hunters out there, did you see a real big increase as it slowly became popular on PvP oh, worlds? Yeah, People were hunting 100%. with like the Debo accounts, DFS accounts, like just it just got crazy out of nowhere. Or was it subtle? Was it a subtle progression? Um, so I don't know. I don't know what happened, but maybe like two or three months after the engineer died in this whole Kaiman. Um, I was watching Zach, he was uploading his videos, so there's PvP Hotcom, and he was pretty late into the game. And then I got pretty inspired, like, you know, I want to actually try this again, because I tried it years ago, I failed it completely, and you know, I haven't done YouTube for a year, maybe I'll, you know, I'll try and take it seriously this time. And then I made him a PvP Hotcom I'm in, and it was really fun, I loved to do it, and then Cengineer, he was already hunting me, like, it was crazy, he was already on me. And then Solar Mission, he, he started around <laughs> the same time, he sent me a message on twitter saying that yo don't tell anyone but i started mine as well uh, so i don't know where he got inspired from and then like you know weeks go by and then like suddenly it's just more and more yo, people yo. trying pv i know moment. i know what what soul mission got inspired from bro the youtube Jeez. algorithm yeah dude. he's good yeah, at he hustling was... though bro he knows knows have we all for good. have like, we all forgotten <laughs> about a certain pvp hardcore iron man and i'll say this i think i enjoyed Riff. his content yeah verf all my iron man verf yeah. made a pvp hardcore my boo boo i really enjoyed his videos because he does not pk 
he is a hardcore Iron Man, like just, you know, in the sense of like he just plays Iron Man, usually Ultima Iron Man and sets disgusting goals. So it was really interesting to see how he progressed his account. Like at one point he was like killing trolls and he was getting mad rune kites and stuff and just like alking it for loads of gold. And I enjoyed watching his episodes because you knew that when somebody hit him and somebody actually managed to start attacking him, it wasn't looking very good because he doesn't have that no. much PvP experience. Or at least, I don't think so. No, oh, he did really actually know? use... He used to PK, actually. But yeah, he yeah. had some really interesting takes on it. Like, he, he went to really unique places. I was watching his video, I was like, where the hell is this in RuneScape? I was like, I've never stepped inside that cave. Like, where is that place? Mm-hmm. Ramja? Is that you talking about? No, it was... I think it might have been, um... It might have been what one of the... What are you talking about? One of the Fremenic Isle Caves, I think. Oh, oh where you get the ice trolls? Oh, oh yeah, the boat so area. Uh, it's, it's just, just you know, whatever it's called? Yeah, yeah. it's the Jatizo Mine. It's you would know the city, or whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Dude. dude, I have behind the scenes access, bro. He, you know, Verb's like, yeah, this is my secret spot. Don't tell no one. I'm like, yeah. I, I used to go there, too. <laughs> you know, it's like... <laughs> and speaking of Verb, dude, he, he just uploads fire content as well. You know, kind of yeah. like Solo. They just they just always hit their mark, no matter what they're doing, right? Yeah, I, I say Solo is kind of like a master of, of knowing the algorithm, you know? <laughs> if you want to know what what's going to be popping, just ask him, you know? He's probably selling services for the, for the, the marketing. The, stop doing his PvP hot climbing, though. I, I think he just yeah. got fed up with it. He just stopped doing it. <clears throat> or, I mean, yeah, imagine how much stream. effort. He couldn't stream, yeah. that's why. And he wanted to go back to streaming. Oh, yeah, that's it. He said yeah, uh, that was the streaming thing. stuff. Wait, was this Verf you're talking about? Yeah. Hmm? Ah, okay. Did he die on his hardcore? I think he did, he, right? No. Oh, he didn't no, die. No, he just stopped making videos. Yeah, he just went to the stream and he couldn't, you, you can't really stream with PP. No one can kill him. It's almost impossible. Dude. No one can kill Ver. So, He's a guy. Yo, I got a question for you, Teletubby. So, out of curiosity, like, when you're talking about these hunters, the people that try to kill the hardcores, is it the same people or is it like a huge array of different people? Um, it's just a small group of people, really, that sometimes okay. they had a new member, but pretty much for the last year, it's just always been the same, you know, maybe group of seven, eight people. Just take their names, please. Do, do you think any of those people find it sexually arousing to kill hardcore Ironman, or, like, why? They're why chasing they that, just... dude, they're chasing that bag, that's what it is. Like, chasing the dragon? Like, he's like oh, six bill, just walking around. Sorry, go ahead, Telly Subby. This is this is one guy that um, he has literally accounts in every single bracket you could imagine. It's stupid. Um, his name is Ham God, and he, this guy has killed so many PP Hawkeye. So he's definitely ridiculous. aroused. Then oh yeah, man. yeah, he gets turned on hundred percent. Oh yeah, him he and uh, him and Pimpite, they have account builds. We well, I have a, I made a Discord for PP Hawkeye man, and then I made a channel that only Hawkeye man can see, and we have. You know all the hunters on there with like list of names of the hunters like what account names they have uh so we can track them and, like see if the name changes stuff but like these hunters they have like 10 accounts each it's ridiculous they have like accounts in every single bracket so like no matter what level you are for a hawker iman they can attack you they can just bun up their account and then boom they're gonna hunt you down and just kill you and then they just ha they have fun with it i don't know how they just stand still no. all day and looking now, for some of these guys gotta be content <laughs> creators but not all of them right like some of them just uh, out here living their life. Yeah, they just want to be a hunter. That's a so nine to five, really. bro. With that many accounts, you better be uploading, right? I don't no. mind if people yeah. be doing this, but you better upload it because I want to watch that, right? Bro, like, you can't this guy called Pimpacks. There's this guy called Pimpacks, and he's like, you know, one of the the big hunters. He doesn't upload any videos. I don't know why. He has all the clips, all this. So he has so many clips of hunting and so many clips of killing PV hockey. I mean. And this guy, he just doesn't upload. I'm like, why, my guy? This He's guy a higher editor, so maybe. many views. Yeah, Bro, oh, I, I even said, like, dude, I edit these videos for you. I don't care. And he's like, no, I don't want you. I'm like. You're missing Those out. Those man's so just doing shit. it because yeah. he's also sexually aroused. Yeah, a lot of sexually aroused dude. hardcore hunters. <laughs> he's just, he's just <laughs> loving it. So, do you know how many people there are? Like, roughly, like, is it like twenty, thirty people, or is it like literally just eight people on different accounts? Just four. Oh, it's just it's eight hunters on different accounts. That's it. So you don't just get a random trying to find you or anything like that. 
Uh, sometimes, but most of the time, it's just people actually trying to hunt you. Yo, yo, oh, I man. bet they put, I, I bet they put that in the resume, bro. Like you know, bona fide uh, aroused the PvP hardcore Iron Man hunter. <laughs> Why did you use the word bona fide? God damn it. <laughs> you said around, so I was like, all right, let's add it. <laughs> like, to, to, I, I think it might depend on like who you are, though. Because like, if you're seeing Geneva like a six-bill bounty with private on, then you're going to get a lot of people like actually yeah. trying to get you. Yeah, that's that's very true. Dude, I mean, I had an idea, right? So I was watching Solo Mission's oh, no. video, and he came out of the Inferno, and it's multi there. And there was like a DD of people trying to spec him, trying to spear him and all sorts. And uh, there were kids there and like Max Mage, like Ancestral. I was going to get a little hit squad together in Void and just rush that shit. I was literally talking to Solo Mission. I was like, mate, I was like, I know, good idea. I was like, I know that you can make it look like you're doing a Zuck task. Can you set that up? And we'll rush in with Debo's and drop one for Max. But he wouldn't do it, man. He's not <laughs> a loyal neck. Ah, really. That would have yeah. been a way. Would've... That would have been so cool. Why would I, I really, wanted, I really wanted to do that, bro. Counter -attack. Like, that was, just... That's actually a really good idea. They're just sat there and fucking multi and like a bill risk. It's like, bro, that right there is like the easiest money I've ever that seen. That would have been like a five head play. <clears throat> yeah, that's that comes back from my old PK and days. I really wanted to do that. I just couldn't get enough people. Plus, uh, Solo Mission wasn't on board. I think he thought I was yeah. trying to kill him, so I don't think he wanted to. I do mean, it. do you yeah. do you blame him? Oh he my god! Nobody, bro. I, I guess I can see that. He's solo, dude. You know, he trusts nobody. Yeah, it's in his name, mission. man. Oh, yeah. He don't need nobody. <laughs> uh, speaking yeah. of PvP worlds, though, in the Wilderness blog, no updates for them coming out. Now, as a PvP Harker Iron Man, would you like to see them actually update PvP worlds to where it would be, uh, I guess, more beneficial to explore? Maybe you get, like, outside the hot zone areas you get better loot or more experience would this be better for pvp because since there's such an ecosystem already just due to hardcore iron man it seems like there's a lot of potential do you mean something like similar to dead mode where you get like tier five emblems from stuff uh, you kill i don't know emblem wise but or like on you know the same it's like maybe it could be anything like uh, if you're on a pvp world you get like a little bit better loot if you risk a certain amount just Pretty much any update that would make it beneficial to be on a PvP Maybe. World. I mean, it could work, but at the same time, like, I'm thinking about how it could be abused. That's what I'm thinking yeah, of. Like, that's, you just, like, that's go, you can go to, a, like, a monster and just, like, yeah. free item it. But that's the thing, right? If you're risking a certain amount, and then you get the benefits, right? That's how, at least, I would see them putting in the game. Even though they do make a lot of updates where you can do a butt naked with no risk and still get the benefits like the prayer altar, which is super annoying. But <laughs> hopefully, in this instance, it wouldn't be abused like everything else, right? We'd be mm -hmm. like a silver lining where it actually coexists and you'd have riskers out there getting more XP, getting more money, but they're risking so they could be hunted. Because it seems like there's already a hunter chase mentality in these pvp worlds but all the hardcores are having so much fun maybe it should open up for everyone at least that's what i would like to see it could be a cool idea yeah yeah i don't know that's what i was thinking out loud what do we think about oh i know rice cup's gonna hate this what do we think about bringing back brawler gloves so i can do my agility and get like 200k xp an hour Wait, why would I hate this? I never gave it a thing. He's just assuming. It's like Rice Cup, you a giveaway. I'm assuming <laughs> because I know that you do a lot of skilling, so... What do you think about Brawling Gloves, Ray? Fan, not a I fan? Never, I, I really ever used it back in the day, so it didn't really matter. I'm hey, neutral, that, I guess. Those were good times, bro. I used to just, like, yeah. chill at the Wildy Agility Arena, take, like, a DDS, and every now and then when you got into the multi spot, somebody would be killed, and you just run around. The XP was just nuts, bro. It was like, it was just, it was a nice way to train. And instead of having what to if, do like that sway stuff. What if you could get like a sort of brawler? It'd just be, it'd just be called a PVP world brawler. And you'd have to wear these gloves, right? In PVP worlds. And when you have Mon, you'd get certain benefits. But you'd have to charge them with like money. So if you died, you would lose all the money inside, right? Oh. Best Maybe. of both worlds. Like, the thing is, like, what? PvP worlds, I used to love PvP worlds, like, back when they first came out, because the EP system was a thing, and, like, it was worth your time going anywhere in the wilderness, and, uh, or around the world, so I used to PK over in, like, I used to go with, like, Max over to Feladip Fields, with, uh, Flames of Zami, this was, like, back in the day, 
And like you'd find people trying to kill the uh, the chin hunters. You'd find the chin hunters themselves. And it's like if you kill one, it's like you know there's a chance you get like a statue, like a serene or like an armadillo statue. It's worth a bit of money. But it was nice because it gave that pe like it gave a bit of variety to be able to go and explore like new areas. I think that that's probably what was so popular with the PvP hardcore man. But like hearing about these hunters and the fact there's only eight of them. That really kills it for me. Like that doesn't, that doesn't make me feel like um, excited because I'm like, okay, it's the same dudes. They're like well, tracking these and stuff hunters like that. are like John Wick though, right? It's like yeah. John Wick. So you got like different scouts, multiple monitors, kind of like the FBI settings. And I, no one knows why they're doing it this hard, but that's what they are, right? You know, they're the John Wicks of the hardcore Iron Man wilderness. Like I'm it's telling you, Rexy, one hunter that is extremely committed to hunting Hawkeye okay, men is way better than a hundred people just running around the game doing nothing. Yeah, I, I guess I just like I, I've never really wanted to do a PvP hardcore, but like just that there just kills it for me even more. I'm just like, yeah, that doesn't sound fun. But no, I, I see what you're saying. I just feel like All if right. there was more activity in general, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't realize oh, it, it was it only used, eight it people. Used to be yeah, it's pretty much... I mean, there's, like, some people that, you know, they occasionally look for us, but I would say it's, like, seven or eight people that are extremely committed to it. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's, there's no reason to really go in PvP worlds unless you're a content creator. So that's why there's not a lot of people. That's why I kind of brought up the idea. It's like, what if there was more of a reason? Because it feels like people want to go explore in a dangerous area, but why would they? Right? It'd be nice if there was a reason oh, they would want to go it, around and have is fun. it is it bad the more of uh escape from tarkov i've played the more i'm just like <laughs> just fucking scrap the wieldy man like they're, Dude, they've just got keep talking about it. they got so much to do man they got so much to like sort out i'm just at the point where i'm just like whatever it is what it is you know I i've get been my at that point for a couple now. years Dude, let's yeah. not worry about pvp worlds more about like oh look look forward to the new wilderness updates right yeah, that, that I think I guess we will probably talk to you about since you're gonna do you're gonna talk you're gonna do a, a wilderness focus account right at some point. But I have a question about just general stuff. So I remember, obviously, you know, like who doesn't like notice what videos pop up right on the right side, especially as a content creator, right? So like I remember uh, the PvP hardcore stuff. You know, was getting really relevant with mm -hmm. the engineer, and then like solo mission, you know, was like popping up too with that stuff. And like you kind of popped up a bit later, and it was like specifically God War stuff, right? Were you like yeah. one of the first people to do God Wars on, on a PvP hardcore? Because like, um, yeah, I believe I was. I I did Sari Domen. Yeah, because then I you started, and I was like, and I was like, yo, this, dude, this guy's doing like God War stuff already, dude. and and like solo, you know, like he hasn't done it yet. So this, you know, he's like one upping him, you know. So like, what was the what was kind of like the inspiration to push the barrier? I guess because I feel like you probably you know kind of pushed the pushed the competition up a bit, right? In um, terms of what kind of yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, well, you know, I originally, like I said again, I you know started PUP Hawkeye Man years ago. Like you know, I had the idea in my head. Uh, must the founding the father, engineer. Yeah, the, <laughs> I, I know. I I can't say if I'm like actually. <laughs> I don't know if I you know the first one I ever thought think about it, but I tried it, and then. The fact that I died to an ogre, right, and then I didn't continue the series. <laughs> Every time you say it, dude. Yeah. It's, what ogre? I'm sorry. What ogre? It was the, it was the ogre in that training camp. <laughs> oh, I, I that just, that I shit, bro. <laughs> oh, like, no. And you call slow vision. All right. Uh, last time I'll give you shit about that. Are they inside? No, you can go cages. in there. And, oh, there you literally in. have to go inside <laughs> to die. You you have to go in there, bro. Those bones were there. looking juicy. Oh, yeah, the voluntarily. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that's even worse. I I was I was thinking it was Castle Wars or something. <laughs> no, <laughs> he went inside the ogre pen and got fucking smorked, bro. Yeah. No, I actually did die to an ogre on like a, a previous hot climb and Jesus <laughs> Christ, Castle bro. <laughs> Stay away from ogres, bro. They are not good. They're yeah, so I died on that account, <laughs> and then eventually. I did like other videos, but I wasn't taking it seriously. And I stopped YouTube completely for like a year because I was getting really bored of the game. And when I came back, got inspired to do PP Hardcore again. I was like, shit, dude, I want to make it really far. I want to actually like, you know, do something no one's ever done before. I want to make, make it past the engineer because I'm, I was really disappointed in my death from an ogre, you know, from a series that was, you know, a golden opportunity for me. 
So I start my videos again, you know, they slowly were building up because I haven't done YouTube for a long time. And then eventually I just I just got so much support, you know, so much motivation from like the people watching my videos, the likes, the comments, all that stuff that I just like, you know, screw it. I'm gonna know life this stuff during COVID. I'm gonna do stuff that seems you never got the opportunity to do. And I'm just gonna like try and do, you know, pretty much what not really a lot of other hardcore comments will ever do, I would say. Like I think some yeah. of the missions like you know, the other guy on par with me. And then I did stuff like All right, Gauntlet Ogre 2. Man. All right. <laughs> Calm down here. <laughs> Arch so, Let's just you'll... say he's next above you, all right? But yeah, it was like, it was also like really fun. And I got that, that demo mode spirit to it as well. Like, I love demo mode so much. And PP Hawkeye, I meant it felt like demo mode in a way. Telly Tubby, did you ever play an Iron Man before this one? Had you had practice on one, aside from the Ogre one? Or did you start in PvP? A Haku Iron Or, like, just an Iron Man experience in general? Uh, yeah, a couple of accounts, yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't sure, so I thought maybe you started in PvP. I was gonna say that'd be sick. But, um, you know, I, I did watch your last video, and I know that you were just, like, chucking out free tank tests and people were on you. And, like, pff, Jesus Christ. It was carrials you had. You had, like, a Crystal Helm, Crystal Shield, yeah. Serpentine, and, like, Stuff these... Stuff the dead. People in Max were just splashing on you like left, right, and center, man. A and dolphin, that, dude. I, I definitely feel like, you know, you probably ended the series at a good time because you're right. Like, there isn't that much more to do. Do you think that once you reach a certain, like, gear cap and level cap, you become pretty, pretty goddamn safe? Like, the chances of you dying is. It's like yeah, the same felt, as being max health and getting, you know, maxed, basically. Yeah, I felt incredibly safe. Like, you know, even when I run far away from a bank to do something, I always had a prey mage on anyway. So, like, you know, you're only going to get a two and a half minute TB on me. And the only way you're going to kill me is pretty much if I go into multi. So I just felt really accomplished with what I got. And I just decided to, like, you know, screw it. I'm not, I'm not going to die. I feel very confident. I did tank test to, like, you know, say... Well, the tank tests were like a reason to say that, you know, I'm not really going to die, to be honest. And then it was also like a fun way to get my bounty. It was like whoever did the most damage gets like majority of my bounty. And like these fuckers, right? I gave my, my bounty to the hunters. They split it. Um, the guy that did the most damage, he took the most out of it. And then the rest, they just chucked it and they lost it in the duel arena. <laughs> oh my God. Did you expect something else? I mean, <laughs> no. To be honest, I was like, yeah, yeah. whatever. Do what you want with it. I pay my what? bounty. I'm happy with that. How big like was your that. bounty? Uh, it was 500 mil. Nice. That's pretty. That's a pretty good lump sum. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I don't really have any money. That was my entire bank on my other account. So like, there you go. I don't. I have no more money on my other account. I'm completely Listen, wiped. That could I've be just... your new series, Road to Bounty. Dude, <laughs> I've two. just had a, a genius idea, okay? So if you ever decide to start back up on that account, and you decide to go for a full Inquisitor from the Nightmare, which I believe you could do, getting yourself an Abyssal Bludgeon, uh. Re will double your bounty for you. He will what put the a bill no, on the line. You can't, you can't make that <laughs> oh, mistake. really? What the heck? <laughs> Guaranteed. OSR's podcast promise. Uh, that that is something you could go for, though, if you ever decided... Like, bro, I'm telling you right now, man, I'd be impressed if any hardcore was, like, you know, killing the hard mode nightmare right now. I think there might be one or two, but, like, that boss... That tree guy is so good. Yes. Yes. Uh, what, what, what's, his, uh, what's his Twitch name? I know who you're talking about. Exact? Uh, yeah, oh, that's yeah, that's him. it. Exact. Oh, exact. Yeah. Yeah. One Damn. defense, Hawk Iman. He's killing that. Yeah, he, he, yeah he, I call him the science PVMer, like the science PVMer tier. Basically, break everything down to like little equations and numbers, you know. <laughs> Alex, okay, you? Wait, wait, yeah. <laughs> me? No, yeah, no. You, got, you got the charts where you map the items. Nah, and shit. I don't. I don't read them. It People does. just give me them. People <laughs> just give me them, man. I don't read them. No, no, but, no, yo, I don't make them. I don't read them. People just give of, me them. Speaking of hardcore Iron Man, though, I just comparable to. Just let's broaden this uh, topic here to other games, like other MMOs. I don't think I've ever heard of another any, anything crazier than Hardcore Iron Man PvP World, and then putting bounties on on their heads. There, I don't think there's anything crazier, a crazier mode in any other game that's comparable to this. I don't know. Do you guys know anything? Like, have you ever heard um, of a game where someone's risking their account and they get they're paying someone to hunt them? I believe 
not not in that sense, no. But I think it's Diablo Three have like a hardcore where if you die, you just lose your account. It might be the same for Path of Exile as well. I've never played that one, but I mean, imagine if well, they that were was. To... Sorry, you go ahead. I was going to say those are the OGs of hardcore franchise, right? That's kind of where the idea yeah. uh, blossomed. And back then, when I was watching gameplay of that, and I don't know anything about those games. I just was attracted to the idea of someone dying once and have being erased, right? Very rare concept in gaming. So I was drawn to that the first time I've seen it, and I feel like maybe people are getting drawn to the idea of RuneScape and how hard, like hardcore Iron Man modes in, in PvP worlds. I mean. That would draw me in if I never played this yeah. game. The idea of that, at least just to watch that content, is just such a crazy concept. I'm kind Risking of surprised everything. that Jagex haven't released like a PvP yeah. Iron Man. To be honest with you, because like to capitalize on it, yeah. I mean, it's got because so popular. PvP, they, they did the same thing for Boaty with Iron Man, so it's like I'm kind of surprised they didn't because it has been some of the biggest content on YouTube for the last like two, three years. You, know, Riggs, you just log in the next day and you see this NPC of a huge long neck only on PvP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's a fucking Joel. It's just named him. <laughs> and it'd be like, oh, Joel Neck, you. talk to him and he'll, he'll give you the PvP hardcore, <laughs> man. But like, I'm the surprised set. that they haven't, to be honest. And like, maybe that could be the PvP expansion and update we're all waiting for. Maybe. Yeah, just yeah. After they fix the wildy, they can do some other shit with other yeah, stuff. Yeah, they better fix the wildy first, though. They better, they better not see <laughs> yeah, this come out before they you know, make a living right now, bro. <laughs> uh, don't be, don't be sad, dude. By the way, I'm sorry, Solo. When Racy talks about you, I just get excited. I'm sorry, man. I don't mean. Don't worry, <laughs> I, I won't. I won't oh, add to the roast, you know. Yeah, I just when Rakesy me, I never roast solo unless I'm next to Rakesy. We're just we're bad for each other, man. <laughs> Toxic person. He brings it out of me, dude. Toxic. Um, wait, wait, hold on. I, I need I need the expansion question though to the God Wars. So like, so like I just was under the assumption that if you do God Wars on a PvP hardcore before you know it got like it became a thing, it was gonna be extremely hard because mm -hmm. you know it's multi, right? So, like, what was the planning process, you know? Did you kind of, like, YOLO it, or, or was there something that you thought about that ensured your safety, you know? What was, like, the uh, process, I remember? Kind of just YOLO'd it. I don't know. There's not really else to do. Uh, when you go down the Rock and Gobbles dungeon, the whole place <clears> is multi, so, like, you won't really have time to react to the just spam click on the D-Spear. And then, the, like, the Samurai Diamond and Gobbles dungeon room, it's so massive. And I think when I did it, they have the... Uh, the Iron Man, you know, the flare thing, the flame things outside the room. Or, oh, no, they didn't have the instances, I don't think. No, I did, like, a Sarah Domain trip, and then in the next update, they brought the, um, they brought the Iron Man instances out, but you could share it with an I another Iron Man, and they had the flame things out. So, whenever I did, like, other Goals Dungeon stuff, like Bandos, when I went back, um, they could scout me with an Iron Man account, and I would have no idea if they scouted me. So, that was, like, it was pretty scary. So, I was like so 50 50 about teleporting out, going back down the road because, you know, what if they scouted me using that flame outside with an Iron Man account? I would have no idea. So, uh, I think when I did Bandos, I just full sended it uh, because I wanted to try and do as many kills as I can within like a six hour log. Because when you log out in six hours, the first thing these hunters want to do is update your XP, like, you know, what's, what's he been doing? What's he been doing? And then, you know, they're going to obviously, you know, put two and two together like this guy's doing Goblin's Dungeon. And then luckily I got a BCP on like KC20, very deserved by the way. And um, <laughs> I, I, I just, I didn't go back. Like that's very it, deserved. here you go. But yeah, Goblin's Dungeon, it's it's really scary to do. It's not as scary as, as it was now because uh, I'm in, it's like complete instance only to one at a time. <clears throat> oh, true. Uh, but like before, man, it was like pretty terrifying because I so, have no idea. So before that update, up. so before that update, how many like, um you know, attempts did you try at the god wars then i think i did like three or four wow you got multiple items in that time in those no, the, uh i did a i did a whole zami session like two videos ago and then i got a sarah demon light in my first kc at sarah and then i went to bandos and i actually i did try armadil um but you know some dark side stuff happened there which i'll talk about later <laughs> and then I went to Bandos, and then I got a BCP really early. It's like, you know, that's it. And Goa's Dungeon is a pretty scary place. And I feel like, you know, the less amount of things I have to do or, like, want to do my PP Hawkeye I'm in, 
you know, the more obvious it's going to be for the hunters, like, you know, this guy, he might be doing Gold Wars Dungeon. <clears throat> and they've told me that they checked Gold Wars Dungeon multiple times uh, looking for me in solo missions. So, like, it's pretty scary to go down there. So I'm very careful with it, or I was very careful with it. So, so yeah, you couldn't you couldn't do it consistently at all. No, no way. Because if I if, it get, you, if you get do... scouted once, like that's it, you you can't go back. Consistency yeah, for yeah. bossing is probably a huge obstacle when it comes to PvP hardcore, so I... mm -hmm. Yeah, you couldn't do yeah. something much for too long. No, yeah, like no, someone will find it. They check the boss logs, I think, right? They yeah, check your check to see if you're boss. Oh, yeah. That's so sweaty. They 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 scry. I mean, just kind of going back to the whole like how crazy this kind of thing even is in gaming like these hunters they scry they check the boss high scores they check your experience to see what you're doing <clears throat> it's borderline like stalking. what would you even call it stalking it's yeah, stalking, it's, stalking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's literally what, what it is man they're fucking weird dude i got c engineer in my <laughs> chat right now ask him what time you did gold war dungeon by the way oh, <laughs> somewhere um, between more than up but like I might have woken up at like 5 a.m. in the morning and did that shit. Oh my god, it was horrible. You gotta I mean, wake like, up at 5 to boss for you. Look at how crazy. Like, you have to literally change your in life schedule to boss on this game on your account. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But wh That's when ridiculous, PvP man. hardcore, I'm at is your life. That ain't no thing. Oh, yeah. That's why you gotta go ahead, go to these YouTube channels that are making content like this, because I sure as hell am not. Fuck that. That sounds insane and drop some support. There's <laughs> the effort that goes into these hardcore Iron Man. It, it, I just can't even, man. I just can't. Go go drop some support, man. Yeah. Oh, my so, like, God. I can do it. Another thing about the Doom bosses is that once you get over 50kc and log out, you're on the high scores. So, they're gonna know exactly mm -hmm. what you're doing. So, pretty much my strategy. Like for example, when I did DKs, I did as I was going for the Sears ring for that mage defense, and I did as many uh, primes and rexes as you know much as possible in a six-hour log, because I didn't want to log out and then it updates my high score as like, oh, he's doing Dagnos, and then let's go camp Dagnos, and you know, be that strategy would be completely over. And also in Dagnos, you can scout the ladder, so they can they can see if you're in there and you have no idea. So it's like really scary. And luckily, I got the Sears ring at like 90 KC. Just before my six hour logs about to run out. So like you know, it's just like another scary thing you gotta keep in mind. Like if you're looking for some bosses, if you need like a very specific drop, you know, you better hope you get it before you know the the it updates your high scores. Yeah. There's a lot like, that goes into that it. Shit. Yeah. And then the same thing, it kinda of like goes for questing as well. Um I faked my XP drops for somebody else. I completely faked it. Um, I don't know if you guys know what scry pools are when you're playing a house. It's when you're like, you right, know, you what can... you faked XP drops, yeah. So, what kind of 5D chess? What, what, yeah. Oh. So, I, I thought it was really clever. So, <clears throat> okay. so you, you know, you guys know what scry pools are in your house, right? You well, they're not the same anymore. Uh, you put a scry in your house and you can like you can spectate an area, like you can spectate a teleport spot. So, like, you know, Varok, if you put the, the Varok scry pool in your house, you can. You know, expected the whole Valk area without actually going there, but you can see uh, the people that are there, and they'll have no idea if you're looking at them. So, for the Song of the Elves quest, there's a part of the quest that you have to like go around the Audi market and you have to like talk to all the guards and stuff about. I, I forgot what it was about. And then these guys are scribe pulling most hotspots pretty much all day, every day. And then obviously, they saw me uh, in Audi. And then they, you know, they got the idea that, you know, this guy's doing Song of the Else. So what I did was, I did that part of the quest in Aldi where I went around the market, talked to the dudes. They saw me in the scroll pool. And then I didn't do the quest for like another, maybe like another few days. And oh the next God. day, I went around and I, I just got, so like the, the quest gives like, for example, like 50k mon XP, 40k Smith XP, blah, blah. I got all those XPs. Manually. Oh, Damn. Damn. Man, that's oh, big shit, that brain. is so cool. Yeah. And Jesus. then I I did all that in one sitting and then I logged out and then <laughs> the hunters looked at my temple XP drops and it was like Song of the Elves completed basically, all XP drops. <laughs> and they were waiting for me uh, the whole time. And then when that was done, I just like, all right, did the quest, no problem, easy peasy. And then saw no one. Dude, you know these uh, the scribe pools you're describing, right? I know what you're talking about. Describing, I've seen it, sorry. I've seen it in C Engineer's video, and like, I don't know why, I just got this image of my head that these guys that are hunting you 
are like all security workers and they're just sat there in front of like cctv yep. screens and they got a laptop in the middle just like you know checking fucking zaya to see if anyone's there that's crazy man right so pretty much telly tubby when we first uh when we first spoke about you coming onto the podcast we had a conversation regarding what we were going to talk about and uh you mentioned something about the dark side of pvp which got me very very curious yeah. and I, I can already tell like the fact that you worded it like that you know that's gonna be the title for this video we're gonna be like you know old school Gate podcast featuring telly Tuppy king the dark side of the pvp world so what do you mean by that what what's going on over there in those worlds so the dark side quote is another reason why i decided to give up pvp hockey i mean because it was making some of my gameplay unplayable um this dark side is including like people cheating to get you or like you know not to get you exactly but like they're just cheating in general track uh, yeah people using ahk you know all that stuff so for example um zora was just ridiculous there were something this thing is called scout bots you don't want scout bot is they Horrible. pick up your character in rendered distance they have all your gear on and your stats and all that stuff and they throw a message into a discord and they at everyone saying that this dude is here right now in this world at zora risking this much blah blah and these guys aren't specifically hunting for pp hard I mean, these guys are hunting for pvmers that are accidentally doing zora in a pvp world so like a p a, a guy could like finish up a pk session like ge or whatever like done a wrist fight it's like all right i want to do some zora now and he gets up in zora teleports to zora does like a zora kill but he forgets to hop back to a regular world and then after he does that zora kill when he comes back to do another one there's a guy just waiting outside to complete max gear uh waiting to kill him and this was at zora every single world 24 7 and i just couldn't do anything about it every single kill i did at zora uh the scout bot was always there and every single kill there's just a max dude waiting for me every single time have you ever um, thought about killing the scout bot Yes, just... but these guys have leveled up their scout bots, like specifically oh, that it's no. so incredibly hard to kill them. It's like for regicide, they have a specific build, you know, just for like the regicide part or like the underground quest part, I don't know what it is, that if you want to kill them, you have to like completely have a stupid build, like a dumb build just to kill scout bots, so it's not really worth it. It's so then, dumb. Yeah, yeah they, they never get banned, and I did about 300 Zora KC. <laughs> And then, I've said this in my video too, so it's not it's nothing new. But I had to hop, I had to do Zora in normal worlds. Like I had to make another exception that you know I'm so sick and tired of giving these guys free opportunities. I mean, like free chances on my Hoku Iman when they've literally cheated to find me. Like I really wouldn't give a shit. You know, it's, it'll be like another complete problem with someone else. Like if they just left me alone. Uh, but these guys will just literally try to attack me every single time. And then this would happen for like you know pretty much the majority of my account. Like I was doing. Desert Treasure and a teleport to Trollheim uh, to get the Ice Diamond. And there's a Skull Bot there because Skull Bot trying to look for PVMers that are doing Goblin's Dungeon that forgot to hop back to the normal world. Teleport to Trollheim, Skull Bot there, and I teleport back. And I go back again on like another account. And then there's just a, a PK waiting for me. And then they had them at raids as well. Uh, I think you guys have seen like a few clips on like, you know, Behemoth or whatever of like people dying. They even do it on Deadman mode on the yeah. World 45. Yeah. They scout that. Yeah, those those guys have been there for a long time. And then I I, re I was recording my video like when I did raids. I made, a, I made an exception on PP Hard Common to do raids. Uh, but I would run to the door in a PP world and then I would hop to a regular world when I got to the door. And I decided to stop doing because it it's pretty dumb. Not gonna lie. I mean, it's just like a what, like a one freeze away from the bank. And then I had the scout bot in my video. And then one of the guys, he got really mad, and he came to my Discord and just was being extremely toxic to everyone. It was just like really bad. And the hunters, they were trying to get me at raise while I was running to the door. And then they would just rag bolt them and stuff. And I don't. Know, it's just like oh, and they also had like Goblin's Dungeon too. So it was like really hard for me to go to Dungeon. Like I said before like an armadillo um i tried to do armadillo and then there was just a scout bot there every single time and this is another reason why i had to get up so early in the morning because these scout bots were basically 
always online at the uh, Gobble Dungeon, like every single boss room, Saradome and Armadillo Bandos. I didn't see one at Zami though, maybe they got banned on Zami, but I didn't see one at Zami. I did Zami at like at 12pm. Um, yeah, I just, I couldn't do Gobble's Dungeon really, because I don't want to go in the room and then they have like an Iron Man account coming behind me and kill me. Because these guys have control of Gobble's Dungeon PP people, so I'm assuming it's like a big clan or something. I yeah. I don't I don't know, so... I just didn't want to play it dumb and just like, you know, they're a big clan, you know, one's got to have an Iron Man account, they can just come in the room and kill me if they really wanted to, and I don't know, and then, you know, as I said before, I had to get up really early because the scout bots wouldn't be there sometimes, like early in the morning, and then later in the day, they, they always just get online, so that's just another reason why I stopped doing it. This guy that had words with you that came to your Discord, um... What did you do? Like, did you out him in a video? Did you discuss this? And what did the guy no, say when not he came really. in? Um, pretty much, I just mentioned in my videos that this is a scout bot. Because, like, dude, it looks so suspicious. Like, me just sitting at a bank, like, opening up a hard clue scroll. And there's, like, two dudes in complete max gear right next to me with, like, a, a you know, a low-level scout bot. Like, it looks so freaking weird. Like, why would I say anything about it? So, and I said like something about it, like these guys are just, you know, killing PVMers, I don't know, with Scalpel, and then, I don't know, I didn't really, I didn't think of it too much, and the guys came out of Discord just flaming everyone. So originally, yeah, they, they do don't have much better to do. Do you think that originally they actually knew who you were, or they thought you were just a lost PVMer? Because obviously they figured no, out they, eventually. they knew. They knew. But like, obviously yeah. they knew that, like, come on. Like, I'm not being funny, man. If I was in your shoes, and I died to somebody cheating with like a third party, whatever it is, I wouldn't pay out the bounty to them. I'd be like, yo, yeah, boys, exactly. I'm, doing a, I'm doing a giveaway. Who wants this money? I'm not giving it to this guy. So, like, they were basically, I guess, just doing it, either naively thinking they'd get the money or just spitefully. Would you say that's right? Maybe. Or, like, there might be another Tony thing that they got so sick and tired of, like, me appearing on the scout bot detector so much. Like, it might be annoying <laughs> to them, but they might just be assholes at the end of the day. I don't know. Well, I can see, yeah, see how I could annoy them. Did you guys see back when um, Scout... I don't know if this is when Scout bots originally started making an appearance, but uh, when Revs was multi, what they would do is uh, inside the multi-rev area is uh, just shout, you know, oh, that guy's scold, he's got a plus one. Oh, that guy's scold, he got a plus one. And then a team of coordinated macers, venge <laughs> macers too, back in a time... I knew where it you was coming. <laughs> I mean, we talk about Scout bots. You could venge stall your animation while you're macing so it looks like you're teleport macing people and they would just hunt multi they would mace everyone if you brought ags i was maced for a carol's top one time it make no sense but <laughs> anyone would get maced right it breaks yeah. you know, this is big problems over here man no, it, all right it, it, Scout hey, listen, I, I, mean. I know i sympathize There's, it's just i one way, dude. Tunnel vision, just everything. Macers. Bro. I love it. But like, I, I know because they did it to me. Combo. They they got me as well. They got me as well. And I was like, what? The? I was like, that's Good. some BS. And then I heard about these like scouting bot bots and stuff like that. So yeah, is I, there a I scarier combo though? Is there a scarier combo? Scout bots and macers, right? What could be scarier than that, man? I don't know, right? Plus oh, one know. gone. Plus one gone. They uh, they de demolished Rev Caves, man. I don't know, uh, Teletubby, if you were uh, looking at that scale bots for uh, back then. I don't know if you just started looking uh, into them I during your hardcore I, Iron Man. I remember seeing them like when I used to PK in Rev Multi with a few mates. I remember seeing them like outside the cave, north by the chins. Oh, they would log in like right behind Hellhounds or orcs yeah. every time. You just see people go through. They log in little dwarven helms and like, go and someone dies. <laughs> They'd even have a. Uh, Fuck, they did it to Purs, too. They had a Pure Scout by. You got the, and the Pures went down so easily. No defense. Oh, oh my god, 52 no. prayer. They go, shonk, gone. Pures had no fucking chance, dude. Crosbow, gone. Blowpipe, gone. It was fun to watch, but... Oh, man. I mean, dude, dude, you did find a really clever way to deal with it. I remember watching your stream, and you were, um, you were using, like, an orb to lower your health so they couldn't smite you, which is smart, but I know that... It's a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? I get that. Well, Yo, tell at the end of the day, I, I am against macing, but like I'm more against now scout bots. They just take the they take the sport out of PKing, right? Dude, it's like yeah, that stuff yeah. is just straight cheating, bro. Like, oh, they the also part. pissed Solar Mission off too. Like um, he didn't really see this video. Mm -hmm. I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but like he was smithing at uh, Port Gazod, and there's always a scout bot at Port Gazod every single time, and. Mm -hmm. uh, 
every time it's Connor Smith, like some dude just always tries to kill him, like just keeps <laughs> ragging him over and over again, and, and the guy just could not fucking Smith anything. It's just really frustrating. That's why his smithing level so low. <laughs> that would piss me off, dude. I I don't know <laughs> yeah, how you guys deal with that shit. Oh yeah. man, I would just be so mad to die to this bullshit. Like you know, yeah, imagine dying to that. Dude, technology can be such a bitch sometimes. You know. Yeah, I it mean, is you concerning. got that, and then. The next most annoying thing, which you guys might not be annoyed, but I'm annoyed about this type of bot, is the the logout bots. Where if they detect you're in render distance and you're their oh combat God, level in the wilderness, yo. they go gone. I'm not even gone. joking. Uh, PP, some PP Hawk coming out, she used that plugin. Dude, the people nah, like with rank what? one Venonatus, I mean, joking. not rank one Venonatus, but high rank hardcore Iron Man that do bosses, yeah, they use it. They definitely use it. I've seen them use it. Not all of them, but it's highly used. Uh, people, lava dragons, black chins, all those bots use it. You log in, gone, bro. Are you kidding me? You're telling me you're fucking vanishing every time? Is this, <laughs> is, this, is this a client that has this as an add on? Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't it's know who made it. A modified it's, client. It's, it's a modified client. Open Oscar RuneScape, right. I think. It's okay. Ronin. Yeah, don't, 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 don't like, say the names. This, 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 this is a modified really, like that. Straight up, man. This only like validates my opinion on this which is we were talking a while back about jagex working on their own client and like i could very i could realistically see a future where jagex are just like if you're not using our client then you're gonna get banned like simple that's as the that. only future where the wilderness and runescape in general could actually have a prolonged future um, mm -hmm. because if they don't actually make a client and get everything that we need on it right that would I make it usable time. It's over. I think, it's over. I think they're starting to realize that the, you know, like the, the variant rune like clients, they're just like everywhere, you know? And if oh, people. They've, they've known. They've known. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. But like now, so it's getting like, you know, they're like see, yeah. seeing no, that. Like, it's definitely because scary. the reason I come to that conclusion, oh, yeah. by the way, is because I know, and we're going to have Mod Matt K on next week, right? I know for a fact that they aren't picking up bolts for shit because there's just too many of them and they're not being well, there, there's too many well there's too many different types of like coded bots you know yes so they so they can only chase after them and that's what the, i'm saying how. is they might not be able to detect the bots but i'm pretty oh, damn sure they're going to be able to detect like if they're using not their own client that seems oh, like 100%. an easier thing to detect instead of having to like realize whether the clicks are pre-registered or if it's an actual person right so well, I I'm think like, it just makes sense. They're gonna have to do it at some point. It's like yeah. either the integrity of the game gets ruined by people cheating, or they will have to take drastic measures, which is like you're just gonna have to use our client, or you're you're gonna risk getting bans. I I honestly don't see another way around that, unless you guys I hope have any that's ideas. Your plan. I've I've had this opinion for for like four years, dude. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm like I, I mean, you. like I do respect like Rune Lion stuff because they like they're doing it for the people for the most part. But like people just be like ripping off of their clients, though. You know. Yeah. Uh, after its initial release, you know, I, and dude, just I, modifying I the fuck out of it. So I, I get like it, man. Really tough. I totally understand. Yeah. I know. I know that we kind of butt heads on this a little bit, Re, because I realize that yeah. you like Runelight a lot. And hey, I use it. I well, like no, it not, not necessarily because like I like Runelight a lot. It's just that I I respect the work that they put in. Yes, you know? but here's they a basically question. Care of Inkscape for a here's lot of a it, question so. for you then. In that case, I do too. But if people using Runelight will continue and end up basically being the downfall of what could have been old school runescape long term it's like would you rather it stayed around well, or just get that, rid of it oh that that's an easy answer like i mean the long term of the game is more important than anything you know there if, it is if and the thing is i'm worse, sure the people you know? at runelight would also feel the same way so it's kind of like i i can't really yeah. see them being too upset it's not like they get paid for yeah, it I mean, now. Like, they have like a fair, Patreon, like, right? like to be fair i'm aware the runelight people are actually helping jagex make to make current client right now but obviously they're never they'll never like uh, talk about their strategy or of like how they deal with like you know cheat clients or like botting they they'll never tell you what their limits are what they can or can't do right we can only ever assume just because you know business reasons they can't say that but but if if that's the reason why like you know like the and the real light developers are on board to help them you know work on their official client then yeah if if everybody understands that it's for the long term of the game 
I feel like, you know, it hasn't hit that point yet where most of the people, most of the player base are understanding the gravity. But, like, I can definitely see something in the future where, you know, there, there's going to be an ultimatum, right? It's like either you use yeah. the official or, or you know, you might get risk getting, you know, in trouble. Yeah, agreed, yeah. agreed. The thing is, is people, players they, shouldn't even need to realize it either, right? They should be, like, Jagex I'm, realizing this 100%, just fixing yeah. it. And um, I do feel that the future of RuneScape, the longevity definitely does have, it, it, it boils down to it, right? If we don't have a main client, then we're just going to have more bots. That's it. And if we well, have enough bots, few clients, you know, running around, how many more bots can we actually take on? That's the real question. Are bots yeah. going to start buying the botted items? Like who's buying all these items from the bots? Who's buying all this gold? Who's who's using all these features? Is everyone going to use these features at the end of the day? Is it going to be everyone's going to auto log HK and a Zora scripts, whatever Inferno highlighted things? I think they have that. They got all these all these. Is it just that's the future of RuneScape, or do we just we want our game back where we just play it normally on a on a regular client with not a ton of uh. Of features i don't know that's that's kind of a choice i see at least there's yeah, there's no yeah, in between yeah i mean at some point you know like they'll they'll have to kind of you know address it in a way you know there's there's just so. a lot of like low-key major problems that you know won't won't be brought to the forefront uh, until sometime you know because like look at how long blowpipe stuff took for them like address it right years so yeah maybe it might take a while <laughs> It There's so it. many problems that don't get addressed. I mean, but, look, uh, we can go hey, over them all. <laughs> listen, I'm going to add to this conversation with, like, I also, too, uh, I don't fully understand, but I appreciate the time and effort that has gone into the guys at RuneLight who have coded and they've made all of these add-ons and stuff like that. But I'm just saying right now, like, if I had a choice of continuing using RuneLight and there being still bots and they're not very easy to detect, or everybody having to make the switch back to the OG client and potentially having longevity for the game i know what i'd do in a heartbeat i'd be straight back mm. over to the original client that's just the bottom line i appreciate what they've done over at runelight i really do they did it in their own time they didn't even ask for money but at the end of the day it's like i value the game long term over having you know potential people getting through the cracks with using like this is the thing right this shit doesn't affect us apart from telly tubby king like when have you ever been affected by somebody scouting your world but, like, it's used all the time, bro. Like oh, Mint said, uh, it can be used for people that are trying to find people to kill in the wilderness, for PvP. It's it's even used by people that try and lure people in the Grand Exchange. Like, they don't even it, need to, like, go into the world and be like, oh, this person has a Tebow. They fucking know. And they can just have this information, like, World 341, Twisted Bow, Full Armadillo, and, like, down all the worlds. It's like... That's just ridiculous. Like, that shit mm -hmm. needs to stop in one way. Like, it, it can continue, right? Because no, it does no. affect the game. And I will add, I think that Jagex are addressing this, but they're doing it in a very... People. I think they're doing it in a traditional sense. I think they're not talking about it. And I think, honestly, people that's escape. a good idea. I think they should just do what they're doing, <laughs> keep working on the client, and, and get on with it, you know? It's like, how many Rich, fucking plugins... President. How many plugins do you need, bro? Like, it's well, there's crazy. one even to clean herbs. Like, who the, who's out here? Like, damn, I really don't want to clean these herbs today. Let me go download a client. Dude, how that's, easy, mate? You're, that's you're the pay, best you're playing part. a point and click, but you don't want to click, dude. That's you the just, fucking best part. Yo, bro, the boys, best skill in I'm the game to, is cleaning those herbs, man. Because it's yeah. I'm about I'm about to blow your minds, dude. There's an NPC that will clean your herbs for you now. No, nah. I use her <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time, bro. <laughs> Yeah, let's they, go. Best they rather just go. <laughs> oh man! No, Lazy no, mine's ass, faster. It's like yeah. this, you know. Mine's is like I know the thousand herbs. I go to her, boom, cleaned. You gotta, oh. you gotta pay for that too, right? Or... <laughs> I, yeah, of course you do. I mean, of course. Okay, that's but fair, not right? it, money ain't nothing to to rice over here. That's why he's providing no, all the. Because I'm a real wins, gamer, so, bro. Just too good. <laughs> I got that RuneScape chain, bro. Yeah. <laughs> There's yo, a trade off to everything. Hey, Nothing's free. Okay. Yo, Reed, yeah. do you want to hear something fucking funny, right? What? So, what? I typically don't dive into long term bosses for too long because I'm trying to get like drops here, there, and everywhere and trying to keep it fresh, you know, not do the same thing all the time. I've been killing Hard Mode Nightmare. I have like 105 KC. I've been doing it now for mm -hmm. like a week. My, my chat 
is Impressive. begging me. This is how bad they hate me doing repetitive shit. They hate me killing the nightmare so bad. They want me to get a fucking quest cape. They would rather I quest it on stream than kill this fucking. But I'm not even kidding. They're like, oh, they're Wait, trying to be like all reverse psychology. Bro, I mean, like, there's bro, no way they, you can they, do it, bro. They rather watch you click on blue's highlighted squares for a few hours than you do nightmare. Yep, they hate it. They, nice. they, they like do chat, it. Get the quest cape. What are you doing? If, if you guys yeah, are dude, viewing me. Up, if you guys, speed. if you guys get bored of me killing the nightmare, do not tune into Rise Cup stream because he'll be killing the night. He'll be killing the nightmare for like a year, and he was when it was is, twenty minutes a kill, and it was slow as shit, and it was like two thousand fucking it shield was, every it time. Was Seventeen minutes a kill. Break, see, Rice knows how to kill it well, though. That's the difference. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to watch someone to kill it hey. well. All right, they mate, just don't want to watch someone just kill it. You, you got us, right. mate. I. No. You don't know what you're talking about, bro. You gotta see no, me he kill that night. Good. I kill that shit. I kill that shit. Here, here's the thing. I'll tell you something, right? I'll tell you something real quick. Tell you, Tubby, I love you, point. by the way. I'm sorry you've been quiet for a while, but I'll just say this. So, I remember... When Rancy, when Rancy takes over, it's over. Me and Boaty had this conversation uh, at RuneFest one year, and we disagreed, right? And he was... Ba I was basically saying, I got, I got my Infernal Cape, and after I got it, I felt accomplished. I was like, nothing in this game feels worthy. I was like, I just did something really hard, and now I'm like, four shot in Sarah with a Tebow. It's like, where's the challenge, right? And I agree, but disagree with him, where he basically said the beauty of RuneScape is that you can take it to any level that you want to. He's like, you can pray flick Sarah. You can run around, you can use purple sweets, you can tick heat, you can make it really difficult. But here's the thing. Why am I going to make something which is easy, hard, when I can kill it easily, as it is, right? I want Jagex to bring more updates into the game, like Hard Mode Nightmare, where you have no fucking choice but to be a sweaty, stinky gamer, because if you're not, you're going to fucking die. Like, Hard like Mode that. Nightmare encapsulates endgame PVM at its fucking Dude. finest, and you have Hardcore to try everything. hard. If you don't, if you don't hardcore, try hard, you die. It's simple as that. We need more content like it. Dude, I'm done. Hardcore sand crabs, hardcore right. hobgoblins. I'm down. Dude. Dude, ogres, yeah. hardcore ogres. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the hard mode nightmare. I, I really do, man. It's, it's like my favorite piece of content we've had in a really long time. So, a uh, years. Well, hopefully that's where okay. the future of RuneScape's headed then, because uh, so. we need more hard. We need more hard, right. man. Yeah, we should what get back to Mr. Teletubby, bro. He's the star of the show, you know? So, so good. talking like about Jumbos. more of the dark side of PvP hardcore then, um, so we're talking about scout bots. We got what we talk about, auto loggers, AHKers. Is there anything else that you've seen that is quite sketchy out there on PvP worlds? Mm -hmm. Um... Scout bots are like literally every bank, but I don't really know too much about them. They're just something to do with like um, countering scammers or something. So there's pretty much multiple there's multiple groups of people that scam. Uh, like they lure on and stuff on the PvP walls, like lure people out of the bank. They kill them, get the items because people still fall for the shit in 2021. I don't know why they're stupid. <laughs> uh, so people yeah, pretty much guess. yeah. So all these groups of people they pretty much compete against each other to like try and get. Because they want to get the kills for themselves, right? So they just set up scout bots on like every single world at banks. They have them hop to every old PP world, like every 10 seconds or something. And they just like spam a message sometimes that's saying, oh, this is a scam. Don't do this. Don't do that. But I think in reality, they're just pretty much countering another group of people that are scamming someone so they can get the victim for themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really know how, how it works, really, but that's what I'm guessing well there's a whole apparently i think it was um not sir pugger but camp q who goes into the door arena and exposes kind of kind of the same thing right they're all on one discord constantly coming up with ways to scam other people out of their money that's the whole discord yeah. i'd assume they're probably part of that right because they got to come up with yeah it's like it's plan. like they all know each other because it's like you know like people want to you know mingle. honor amongst thieves yeah, yeah. It's oh, like, so God. yeah, what's your scam today? And what's the method? It's like, I got this new strategy here. And like, it's like that kind of shit going yeah, on. I bet and that yeah. Discord smells like onions, you know? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they, probably watch, yo, dude, they probably watch like shows together after they're like scams. Like, yo, want to watch Naruto or something? They're like that close to each other, you know? It's, oh, dude. Uh, really, it's a, the big scam, though, is they try, to, they try to get close to the other scammers, and then it's yeah. just, you know... So they can learn some more, like, inspiration. They're like, how do you do your thing, you know? I want to learn. 
It's like they I want to got like this finesse, like, you know, like that's pictures like, of women and they share them so they can like lure people in. It's like, oh, you got toe picks? Send some over, dude. They love the toe picks at the Grand Exchange. It's some crazy it's like, shit out there, man. Secret dark circle, you know, ring of you know. Uh, we're gonna they're gonna you find know, us, Rice. Yeah. Hey, do you know, do you know that? Do you know that? I'm gonna meme? die, probably. You know the meme of the dad coming into the room and he's like, are you winning, son? That's just what comes to mind. I can just imagine I, just there like, yeah, I just got another one. <laughs> just, just ruined some other poor kid's life. Just that, I got oh. Jeez. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah, but here's the, mate, like, I'm not being funny, man. Like, God. Yeah, like, we, they're we passionate can... about it, you know? Like, 100% oh. they're passionate about this. That's all they, they know. Crazy. All they like know. how they to don't want to apply dude. that skill to like something they could be like a counter op right they could be fucking with terrorists you know why <laughs> they gotta troll poor kids for their gp go out and fight isis or some of those skills right why you gotta Whoa, try this they're just listen listen here, Bro, here's the thing they're trying to make counter they're trying to make some exist. Time. that's counter what ops exist. all right that's what they're all doing right. in RuneScape. They are betraying people, right? They could be doing that for the greater good. Yeah, I'm dude. Yo, you can be passionate at anything, so it's kind of a you know a twisted one, but you just know. don't take it out on you know these poor people woodcutting and shit, man. Go, it's messed up. It's you know, messed like, up, to be fair, I didn't really care about these scout bots at all because they they wouldn't give a shit about PvP Hotcom, and they would not care. They were only there for like you know anti scamming people like anti scamming other lovers they really did not give a shit about PvP Hawkeye. I mean, yeah, it's like a separate they, group. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So they're they're the nice scout bots. They're the nice ones. Like they're they're fine. I don't know if any of them are nice. I feel like all the people yeah, no, who scout Jeff, bot dude, Jeff tells me the same thing about the ones at the bank. Uh the ones at the nice. bank is that they're they're used to uh to anti like lures. Oh, yeah, like scout that. bots for scout bots for good. Yeah, for the good. Yeah, the scout yeah. bots for people. That's like that drones in. tracking other drones. Like that's some crazy <laughs> yeah, the reverse shit. Drone shit, dude. It's like Terminator, bro. You know, he oh, comes back to protect. We're literally you know, like RuneScape warfare is on such a level. We're using <laughs> robots to fucking fight robots. Well, to fight bad people's robots. Yeah, you yeah. Got, like they track other robots. It's oh man, dude. It's now sweaty. they just need Onions. a bot. That kills the scout bots in the in the non bank. That's what they're training the LMS bots for, dude. That's they're evolving, <laughs> yeah, and that's gonna be their final farm, bro. <laughs> they're gonna unleash them onto the other bots. What, what is this? Transformers? I don't even feel like RuneScape dude, anymore. Like, yo, Make a know, client RuneScape. Bro, Fuck, man. You know, all, you know all those LMS bots that are like AI training, dude. What if they just all roam the wilderness? You know, <laughs> <laughs> over. It would be over. It'd be oh, over. Okay. It's crushed. They, they're probably gonna do. It. There's no money out there though. That's the thing, right? It's dead. <laughs> yeah, they would just kill everybody on site. <laughs> yeah, maybe they wouldn't have much to kill. Sadly, be pretty. Great <laughs> me know that. Okay, all right, all right. I'm 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 out of this. Team. So there was uh, that, there was one time I was doing. Yeah. So the way I was the way I was training crafting was I would hop all the woods at Port Cazard. I would buy all the buckets of sand and seaweed. From just that one charter, and that's all I did for 85 crafting. It took a long time, oh. and pretty much every uh, the whole time I did it, there was always a scout bot there, like the you know the the anti anti luring scout bots. Like they didn't really give a shit about PBR mm. coming. I was there for a long time. No one ever came for me. And then the hunter uh, pimp that I said earlier, you know the top notch one, top notch one. He pretended to be a fucking scout bot on another <laughs> account, and I didn't realize. So I went to go buy. Bucket of sand and seaweed one time, and this guy just came out on the boat and like TV me like, how the fuck did he know? And I was so confused, like a whole five minutes straight. And then he eventually told me that you know he should pretend to be a scout bot on his account. You and should I never that, say that was it. the smartest shit I've ever seen. Like, I kind of wish he never told me because oh, I really want to have guessed for a long time. But I was like so people, clever. People are clever on this game, man. Yeah, they really are. Uh, uh, so let's talk about see, ways. That's, that's not cheating. Let's talk about ways to where how how could we fight against these bots, man? Would it would it only be down to RuneScape making another client, Dude. or could we get like a Justice League scenario of anti botters <laughs> using bots to fight these guys? Right? Could, they could be yo, like they, the good botters. Yo, we got to shut down Skynet, bro. Skynet, <laughs> it's, it's all that's gonna that's that's the end game Dude, right there. It's RuneScape Skynet. I may I had all right controversial opinion oh, and suggest suggestion Over. but like okay so 
<laughs> Something that we could do, and I've thought about this quite a bit, and it's a bit of a far-fetched thing, but just hear me out, okay? So, we have an issue right now with bots, we have an issue with gold farmers, okay? Now, I don't think it's unfair to say that quite a large portion of gold farmers that we have are people who are from Venezuela, and God bless them, are in really just terrible positions, okay? They're they're playing the game, they're not selling gold, and they're not driving around in fucking Lamborghinis. They're literally selling gold so they can give their family, like, some fucking food. And I'm just like, hey, whatever, I don't even have a problem with that. But, the consequence of that is that it diminishes the price of PVM items, which may even have an effect on why everything's so cheap right now, okay? Because it's a bit crazy. So, I had this thought a long time ago where I was like, imagine if Jagex were just like, what we're going to do is we're going to hire those Venezuelan gold farmers. We're going to pay them, like, whatever the equivalent is so they can have, like, a good living in their country to go around and basically moderate the bots. Like, go around and, like, Bro. report the bots and, like, have Perfect. something to be able to get them out of the game. Like, that'd be killing two birds with one stone, but it's, like... I, I don't know if that would ever happen, and there probably is like a load of like legal issues there. Maybe Jagex would have to open up like their office in Venezuela. Who knows? <laughs> but like, imagine if that was the case. I did say it was far fetched. No, You'd no, be a no, great I, fanfic writer. I swear we kind <laughs> of had an idea like this when we brought on our player moderator, and I was like, why don't they just pay more people <laughs> to moderate so they can get you know they're you, cheap. You just pay yeah you just pay people and they go around they they get rid of the bots. What's more cheap than probably you could probably get a uh, a lot of those player moderators in Venezuela, right? D yeah. Depending if they don't abuse their power, right, and they don't just you know what they just they well, ban all I, the people I, near let, the beach trees yeah. and they they start rationally. The trees down or something, but it would be like know. less than a dollar a day they'd have to pay. But that's where the legal issues come in because I feel like they'd have to be out there. They couldn't pay. They couldn't have like these they, quote unquote employees and be paying them from the UK like a dollar a day. It'd probably be less than that. But no, you could you could do something like that, right? You get like a little crypto wallet and send it over there, and they could be like, uh, you could be uh, you can give many names really, advertisers. Uh, you, you like how they pay content creators, man? Maybe they're all miniature content. Wait, creators, wait, they dude. pay content creators. They remember, didn't they do a thing where if someone, if a content creator played all of Deadman mode, they get paid more or they phone content creators out and pay for the hotels? You know, this would just kind of be like an extension of that, right? It's not like none of that's legally, maybe it's legally binding. I don't know, dude. I'm sure they could find a way to do that, though. They could compensate them some way, right? There's, there's, I'll there's plants. I'll be honest, stay cheap. <laughs> stay cheap. Also, I think international, I guess, pay is probably really confusing. In uh, Venezuela, especially if they pay them a dollar an hour, there might be some legal issues. They're like, "Are you paying like a wage or what?" You what know? if it's under the table yeah. though, right? Because like, how would anyone legal. know? Dude, they're, they're not. Really they're not gonna... issues. <laughs> right. My my pitch was more or less a serious joke, which could yeah, work, like, but yeah. realistically, it's not ever yeah, going yeah, to okay. happen. But like, yeah, I don't perfect, know. Yeah. I, the thing yeah. is, it's it's a difficult situation, man, because it's like, God, I feel bad for those people. I really do. And it's like, they're not, they're not fucking rolling around in, like, nice cars or anything. They're literally just trying to feed their families because their country's fucked. Like, that's the issue. And it's uh, like, if you, look, if you put yourself in their shoes, if you were in that position, and it was like, well, either you starve or you can come and play this game for, like, eight hours a day and you can get some food and have some money to be able to live somewhere, it's like, you're going to do it, you know? It, well, it you just, know what I would is do what is. Is, is open up a Green Dragon bot farm, right? I would get good at the game and go PVM. I mean, some of them are good, but I swear most, that's why, most that's of what the they're doing farmers now. are ass. Yo, so man, the smart no. ones, the smart not ones. A, not like, anymore, bro. Not anymore. They've realized that learning PVM is not that, that dangerous anymore, man. They kill in court, bro, in those instances. Yo, yo, you Rexy. see them in there. They're evolving. That's what I'm talking about. They've they, learned. From they've Green learned. Dragons to Corporal Beast. I like it. No, it's a T.O.B., dude. More the like T.O.B. Yeah, Damn, dude. dude. They, you, go get a four you go to 416, half the players are like, ja, ja, ja. You know? They know. You know. <laughs> All right. But anyways, so, whatever. Those are respectable. Yeah, uh, yeah, Rex, yeah, yeah what's up, Sally? 
Um, why don't you pay the gold farmers with your Rage Shadow Legends sponsorships? Yeah. <laughs> why don't you fix this problem, huh? Hey, I, listen, man. I ain't no Sir Pogger, I'm afraid. Okay? I ain't getting 200k views of video. In fact, I ain't even uploading no videos right now, so... <laughs> I don't know. You know what's in this podcast, Speak, bro. We're speaking of paying Venezuelans to fix the game somehow, right? What if we did a big GoFundMe that would be connected to a Discord of people who, uh, you know, are in Venezuela who originally gold farm, but their whole thing is they just make RuneScape better. Maybe they go and they take out stream snipers, or they go and they anti-crash people. They're just constantly messing with people who shit on the game. What if they just tag team scout bots? They're just, I mean, there's so many of them. They could do everything, right? And we just constantly, like, oh, if they go help you out, you put $5 in the GoFundMe, right? Or, hey, hey, thanks for helping out. Here's 10 bucks. And it just goes right to the Discord. And it's just, boom, they're there. And they're ready. Yo, okay. Yo, should we get back to Teletubby? Me? <laughs> okay, so one that's second. a great idea. Yo, All yo, right. one, right. thing, one thing that could be a good idea. Could, <laughs> branch off from what you idea. just said. <laughs> there was- <laughs> There's a bunch of, like, actual Bro. legal mumble-jumbo that just completely shuts that down off the fucking, Go like, straight Go me? Le- what if they yeah. make an OnlyFans mate, and they I share al- whatever? I can, uh, mate, I can already fun. tell. I can already tell the guy that gets sent the money who's supposed to spread it out amongst all of them fucking takes right. it and runs. So there's a lot we'll of issues send there. one of our guys over there and he will be the leader, all right? And he will spread out the checks. How about that? We'll Something, have a, a Venezuelan game in the house. Yo, all right, all right, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Something they could do. They could bring out a, um, you know, they had the Well of Fortune. They could do one of those specifically for the Venezuelans. They could do something like that. That's your idea. That's better than okay. Shut, I, I shut think up, it, I think it's right? the shut only up. thing that would actually happen. <laughs> yeah. up, There's no. I wouldn't mind you just brought it up, but to say that's better than my idea is just disgraceful, man. All right, that hurts. Mate, all right, that's what. Uh, whatever, mate. Hey, I'm gonna right, check okay. that GoFundMe PayPal, right. and I guarantee I gotta, it's gonna be like Mintus Matters at Hotmail.com yeah. or some shit. Oh <laughs> I'll, I'll handle the finance, dude. I'll invest it. We'll get tenfold. Don't worry. I got so, oh, we yeah, can, we can, we can also we can also sell and make our own crypto, and we can have them all buy it. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we could have uh, the Yo, OSR buy, coin. Buy, buy with what potatoes? Or what something? a genius <laughs> idea, man! <laughs> whatever they got, whatever they got, bro. Oh, yo, okay, what are we okay. talking about? Yo, yo, okay, shout okay, forget idea. it, forget it. We, we, the, what we're talking about is whatever. Tell it to me wants to talk about. It. Yo, so what's the skiller thing? The chat's been like saying, yo, like, talk about skillers oh, in the PvP. Fucking skiller shit. Ugh. All right, so quick, quick, when quick. when I died on my first PvP hard comment to like, AGS and Deep Wardy, I made a Discord, uh, like a PvP hard comment Discord, and it actually blew up pretty fast. Uh, shout out to the OGs, Lavid, Soda, Broker, going T high, and then are they paying you for the shout out? No, I'm just- no, it's fine. <laughs> shout, out the, shout out the boys. Because uh, they've been there for like a year. Uh, so, pretty much there's like three... There's like a timeline to the PvP Hawkeye over the past year. So, the Discord opens, and there's like a shit ton of people trying out the, you know, the whole game mode. Every time you go on YouTube, search the filter by new, you always see like new people trying the game mode. And, you know, it was like crack, because everyone was so hyped up like- about it. I would like, I'm no joke, me and like five other people, we would like go to a new section off YouTube like every two hours and we would just see a new video every single time and like it would be so fascinating like it's really cool to see what other people are doing, like what their idea is. And then that was really cool for like, that happened for like a few, like maybe five months. And then the second part is where we all just got really sick and sick of each other and we just were roasting the fuck out of each other. It was basically the Hunters versus the, the Hawkeye men and like the Hawkeye men versus the Hunters. And we were just all roasting each other so hard in the Discord because I don't know who it was. I think it was this Cider Spider guy in the <laughs> in the <laughs> chat right now. It was either him or it was Broker that they figured out a way on how to play like PP Hawkeye and very safe at the beginning. So basically what it is is that you're high HP, but you're low combat. So you, it's very, very hard to die. Like, it's incredibly hard to die. You're only going to die if you go complete AFK for, you know, maybe like three or four hits. So what these people would do is... So level 17 is when you can get attacked by Dark Bowers. 
And what these guys would do is they would get to level 60 in combat and get to like stupid hit points of like level 50 hit points or something like that at level 16. So killing people would be like literally impossible. And then these guys would just skill for months as a PB Hawkeye man. I don't know why. Like this this side of Spider Guy and another guy, they got Nantana Hunter as a PB Hawkeye man as a skiller. I don't know why. They were like 50 HP. <laughs> 15 combat. I have no idea why. So these guys are skilled for months, right? And then it became a trend. It just became a master trend. Every single guy was like doing this skill up trend. And every YouTube video was like doing the same thing over and over again. There was like less people doing combat, which was, you know, the hot spot of the, the game mode, in my opinion. And so then, everyone became pussies, is what, is what you're saying? Yes, or? everyone became a pussy, basically. Mm -hmm. That's basically what happens. And what these guys would do is they would skill for like two months, right? And then they would die like one day into combat when they finally <laughs> get <deserved>. combat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they're just like, oh, I'm just going to skill because I'm prepared for combat. And then they do combat and then they just die. I think there was one guy, I think it's called like Buzz or something. He got to like 1300 total level as a skiller. I think he spent like three or four, like five months, something like that. Something stupid as a skiller. And then two days after he got combat, he got red barred by Solomission <laughs> Relica. And then. Always it's solo. Yeah, it's a solo machine guy. It's just everywhere. It's everywhere. Goddamn. Oh my god. Yeah. And then, yeah, we're just pretty much resting each other for like playing this game mode. It's like me and a few other people. We're just like, you know, it, it's not, it's nothing serious. We're just a meme. It. We're just fucking oh, okay. each other. All right. yeah. yeah, it's nothing yeah. serious. Okay. And then, a friendly wager. And then, yeah. and then eventually, like months later, another trend started to happen. It was still some skiller stuff, like PB Hawkeye and skiller. And then the hunters were getting pissed off that we don't play with private on, like private chat on, uh, because they don't know if we're online or not. And you know, to be Would fair, you play it, with your like private really on, weird, bro? This is a really weird game of tag. No. Yeah. <laughs> Why like, you're not letting me kill you? Like what? Dumb, dumb as hell, man. This is like, this is like, um, it's like a not agreed upon like tag, you know, game. Yeah, of it tag. became such a drama <laughs> Discord. Like, I, it's really fun. <laughs> And then, like, to be fair, I kind of understand the hunters a little bit, because it can be so brutal to find, like, some people. So, what I did was, so in my videos, my private's to friends, but this is, like, my only account I play on, so I, I do talk to people on it. So, what I did was, I just added the hunters to my friends list, so they knew if I was online or not. It didn't really make too much of a, a big difference. And then, I don't know, but just people just going at it, like, yeah, I want to play with private elf, man, it's risky, I want to be a skilly, you know, all that stuff. Oh, no, yeah, and... And uh, they also disabled scribe pools because I think it was uh, I think it was Randy. He somehow got to a patrol after he completed. Yeah, like this man is like really glitching everything. Dude. <laughs> he just somehow Wait, got to a patrol. He just love to, glitching. I'm too. trying to wrap my head around this like PVP skiller thing. Like, why didn't they just do that as a it's regular hardcore outside of the? Wheel? Exactly. That's what yeah, I said. It's for the meme, bro. It's for the meme. I told I'm like, you. I'm like, I'm like, why are you playing as a skiller? Man. Why are you playing as a skill at Hokkaima? Like, there's no difference just going to the regular yeah. world. They remind there's me no of the people difference. who would play Dead Man Mode Seasonal, make an account, and then just never PK on it. it. Yeah, like me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it reminds me of you. No, no, no. <laughs> actually, I did the final hour. I did the final hour, though. I probably... Oh, more. yeah, great. You got a nice hour in. What are you doing, bro? Are you... Dude, I fought off PKers, bro. I mean, like... What I... are you doing right now, bro? <laughs> no, I was just untangling some stuff, you know? Okay. OCD kicked in. Yeah. Too many uh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I hate okay. I hate when people make an account, don't go and enjoy it and go, no, it's already dead. And they just it's like go oh, kill someone doing ogres, right? Oh, you're gonna get some revenge for our boy over here. At least have some fun on it. I just I don't know, making a, a wieldy hardcore Iron Man or a PvP hardcore Iron Man and not even getting Yeah, with I, I just thought so it was boring. like so cringe. Like, why do you play the game like this, man? Like when I first thought of you know, when you first think of PvP hardcore man, I'm thinking like you know, people gonna do like barrows, you know, slayer, like combat, it's gonna be great. But like majority, just they're just fletching. pussies. Yeah. <laughs> just just, they're just, chop, they're just chopping trees yeah. and mining. Like some dude they're just like level they're nine like five mining. Both ways. Yeah. It's like it's real fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah, five mining, like, that's nuts. Yeah, some dude got to like level ninety mining. I forgot who it was, but it was some Probably skinner. autumn elogy. It was dude, loves mining. I really this. I really think Jagex could probably they got a good opportunity here. They could really make like a PvP Iron Man mode, and they could literally make it so 
they can have it like as brutal as they wanted it they can have it so you're counseling it after or whatever but like they could make it so you have like a protection for a certain amount of time maybe like bring down the levels that you can be attacked at like within the bracket if that makes sense but like, they can make it so when you first log in like you have you know it's usually six hours right in deadman mode they can make it so it's like that or maybe more where it's like you can't be attacked for that amount of time or they could just leave it as it is like they could probably do a fair bit if they actually wanted to do well, that. they probably need to fix the scouting bots before they do that kind of shit. Yeah, like they could fix those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they're gonna fix anything. Uh, oh, some people just be like, "Oh my god, I got scouted and died." You know, the amount of damage that's already happened from those bots being there. I swear, dude. I don't know if they'll ever fix it at this point, but mm -hmm. we can hope. We can hope, yeah. man. I just, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm baffled by like how they even made it in the first place. Because it's obviously, I, I don't even think it's like a plugin or anything like that. It's like they've made their own, um, like it's like their own database or something. Well, right? yo, some of some of these people can read the code in RuneScape like they're reading a book, right? And and when you're that far in, you can just edit and paste and oh, just imagination's the limit. Apparently, I mean, if I was just watching, I don't know if we want to talk about Randy at all, but I was just watching another video and. I'm like, what, what is he doing? And he had to explain 40 times, you know, he's just constantly talking about what he's doing. I'm like, I still don't know what he's doing, right? <laughs> but some people, they, they can code and they can write and they can, they can really bend RuneScape to their own will, right? And they're the nerdiest people, which is funny how, how much power they have, right? They got rice glasses on doing this, just coding shit, but they're powerful, man. They can, they can I, do whatever they want. Dude, I've always wondered if, like, people... You know, we were talking earlier about, like, DPS charts and charts for this, that, and the other stuff, right? And, like, mm -hmm. people that literally look at, like, RuneScape, and it's just, like, the Matrix code. They don't even see Zuck. They just see, like, the code. Like, yeah, it's exactly. Just, it's streaming down. Oh, the door. Science PBM, you know? They it, like to the, break things down to a I'm science. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm so polar opposite to that. And I'm like, how can they enjoy that? But maybe they enjoy that because it's like you can play this game from whatever angle you want. It's like you can go into it and just be like, okay, I'm just going to brute force this. I'm going to fucking be reactionary. Or you can go into it and you can be like, I've been studying this plan for the last week. I know exactly where and when I'm going to do this. But like, I, I guess people are just different. Like, it's not my, my style of gameplay, but I'm sure there's... Yeah, no, I'm like you, it. Mr. Rexy. I just play the I'm game. I'm not surprised. Once I saw people efficiently mining, I was like, yep, they're going to do whatever they can. <laughs> are, they, they, are they just <laughs> literally 1.5 take mining with like logs and a knife while mining? Yeah, when they made mining harder, that's when I was like, yeah, people don't care about playing this game. They just want to like play it well. They just, they don't even want to be happy. They just want to play it well. You know? Yeah, they just want to be efficient, you know? So maybe Yo, those boys. coders, they're actually not having a good time. They're actually having a horrible time. They just want to play the game well. Do you think it's too late for me to try to become a skiller and go for like top high scores oh yeah it's way too late bro it's way too, late. too late for you in a lot of ways i was about to Sorry, bust man. out 200 mil room craft you have a, like, you have a better chance becoming a rock like a metal rock band member you get 200 <laughs> mil room crafting i'll get a tattoo on my butt cheek dude all right your <laughs> choice mil room crafting, God damn. your choice bro you can say Rakesy, you can say osr's podcast you can have that little party hat whatever you want man yeah you can all put right. like solo missions and that yeah. Hey man, listen. Oh, my... he's, he's popping out. He's... <laughs> hey, we're gonna clip this, bro, because one day I may very well get two inch mill ring craft. Then, all right. I do have to say though, you're paying for the tattoo, though. All hmm. right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. But we also didn't <laughs> okay. specify if it was allowed on the actual RuneScape or Twisted Leagues or Deadman mode or something with like times twenty five. Oh, yeah, we specify it's that fucking RuneScape, man. I that didn't is say RuneScape, we. Bro. <laughs> no, I don't want your ass over here making two mil XP an hour, getting two hundred mil at like leagues. Hell no, dude. I want you getting like forty k XP an hour, bleeding at rune, you know, blood runes or something <laughs> or whatever. But my fingers are like bleeding, and my nails have like fallen your off. Your eyes like, are just dude. yeah. <laughs> I'm oh, very poor. Geez. Hey, listen, I'm doing a twenty four. I'm doing a twenty four. Well, I'm doing a subathon on Sunday could be a 24 hour stream potentially so i may do 24 hours of uh of runecraft and we'll see maybe i'll start start off <laughs> on a high. all right boys <laughs> so, all right. mr telton has got some things to say so let's let's uh, let let's have him had it before right. uh it gets a little too late <laughs> uh so like going back to the the whole scribe pool thing with like um so they got disabled 
like you can't use them as as you could before. And I believe it was like the Rendy thing going to the Monkey Madness Island. Um, as a one defense pool, I think he completely quest, and he's somewhat stuck into it using a scribe pool or something. Mm. That's I'm pretty sure that's why they disabled the scribe pools. I don't think they actually said that's the reason why. So scribe pools were like a major thing for the hunters. Yeah, I'll I'll put a picture in your Twitch. This is pretty much what every hunter did uh, with scribe pools. They had like ten accounts open, looking at every single scribe pool, like the hotspots across girl? the game. No, that's C engineer, bro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it does kind of look like rice though from that angle man he's yeah this is what these guys was doing cousin, didn't you know? all day you're homie right there bro oh, he's not even asian what are you talking about <laughs> oh i don't know i don't see race all right i just see glasses that's uh that's something else bro that's people yeah. are green. that's something else bro what the fuck the yeah these hunters <laughs> would do this all day they would have so many scribe pools open on so many different accounts. They were like extremely committed. And then when Jagex turned away, like it, it kind of killed part of like the hunting because it was so easy to do a lot of things in the game. Now, like Barrows, for example, like Barrows used to be scribe pooled so much. Like you would do one chest and it's already PK waiting for you. But like nowadays, you can go Barrows and you can do like 100 chests without, you know, anyone even coming to you because you can't scribe it anymore. You can't scout it really. And then. The hunters started to complain about, uh, you know, the hardcore item not putting the private on because it was extremely hard to hunt now because there's no scribes. And then it was like a whole huge beef about that. It was pretty funny. And then, you know, I added the hunters to my friends list. And then a few months go by and then like the game kind of goes stale a bit. Solar Mission wraps up his hardcore item from his death. And then I wrap up mine. And then Pip, he also died. And then, you know, right now it's pretty, it's pretty empty. Uh, but we do have a couple of people that are like, you know, trying to get up there, like they're trying to do combat. And we we call this guy in the Discord the, the chosen one because he's doing like combat and slaying, like he's got barrows gloves and stuff. So like he's the one that's gonna he's bring life. Yeah, he's he's the one that's gonna bring life back to the PP Hawkeye man. We, we we keep calling the chosen one and shit. Like every time this guy gets in line, it's like, oh my god, it's him, he's online. And then <laughs> this guy's like, stop stop putting all this pressure on me. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, like nice. honestly, like overall, it's been a it's been a really great game mode. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, you know, there's a few things about it that I've enjoyed, like you know, the the dog stuff about it, like, the scout bots, blah blah. Besides hey. that, every other stuff has been really fun about it. I love it. Yeah, if if I had PvP hardcore Iron Man series popping off in 2021, I just I didn't see that coming, dude. Or just at least I think maybe they started in 2022, but I just did not see that happening for RuneScape. Right, especially when uh, it comes to wilderness content, I thought that was just going to dry up, but it definitely kept it fresh. Mm-hmm. I, I know I, I couldn't. I actually grind that out. I, people ask, I don't know, Rice. You get any questions about making a PvP hardcore ever? I mean, once in a blue moon, but I get asked to make everything, so it's like shit. Uh, <laughs> I, I always get asked, but I'm like, how would I even stream that? I there's no way. Yeah, there's no can't... way. There's yeah. it's impossible. You can barely yeah. stream Deadman mode. I mean, did you see? Did you see uh, skill specs as attempts at hardcore Iron Man on stream? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, a compilation oh, yeah. of deaths, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's all. And it it's was. always like it's always. I think who who who's killed him, man? I swear it's a couple content creators, man. I don't think it's random people. It's always it's always someone. I don't know. I can't remember. I think everybody uh, like who yeah. hasn't killed skill specs at this point. Come on. <laughs> I'd love that. I love, him on J- podcast, I love Jay, man. by the way. So, but he does he does die a bit. But I love the way he plays, dude. This is the thing. He doesn't talking save. About, he doesn't save. No. Talking about like efficiency scape. It's like go you watch Oda Block, man sat at 110 HP the whole time. Go and watch skill specs. He sat around 50 HP when he's getting AGS. <laughs> like, I love and it. he doesn't I love he, it. he does it instead of going for the, the brew, he goes for the axe. Like In I love bench. watching that man. Yeah. It's it, I like He's him. a real man. He is. Yeah, that's how PKing should be, right? Exactly. Take some risks, man. He's having fun. If you're with camping, him, if you're camping full HP, mainly you're just hoping luck gets you a kill. You're like, please Rambo, please stack, right? At that point, but that's pretty much everyone nowadays. So that's that's why it's getting a little dry. But I don't want to get into. We need new content. PvP too much. It's what yeah. we need. We need new content, mm-hmm. man. We need it. We need, we need it. new. Uh, we need new PVP Hawker Iron content. That's non-skill. Non-skill is. 
I think uh, it's a bit of wishful thinking. But I think if they were to just bring more activity to PvP as a whole, it'd probably have that kind of like knock-on effect, to be honest. Maybe, maybe. It really depends. Um, I just hope people go into the wild after the blog is uh, updated at all. We'll see. Oh, man, I just I just hope for so much. Just How long have we been going on this podcast, by the way? Too Yo, goddamn we, long. We can, Two talk hours. About, we can talk about the Warhammer <laughs> update real quick, because apparently that's PvP related, and then maybe... Oh, okay. yeah. They, they, made Wait, what update? they made Warhammer's one attack. Oh, that happened a while ago, but actually. Yeah, so it kind of destroys some of the skillet accounts. It kind of oh. messed them up. Yeah, uh, how is that affecting hardcore Iron Man in PvP worlds then? I um, forgot it only, you guys are having only a bad affected day. the skillers, really. Um, really? Because the skillers can get one bumped now, but there's, you know, there's just a new build out there that they can just prevent it now. I think there's like, I think someone figured a new build that you can be like five combat and like 20 HP and you still can't die. I almost would think that it'd be beneficial. I can't say that word. Beneficial for uh hardcore iron man with the dragon warhammer coming out because i watched a video of people just getting bopped for their dark bows left and right just doop doop all the 10 hp or just log in boop gone warhammer peers everywhere but i don't know um if that helps you if uh the the hunters actually fight each other a lot or not i just watch those videos but i'm not out there yeah there's been some people that i've actually like tried to kill the engineers pb hawk i and like these hunters they actually killed the people hunting the engineer and uh, yeah. I think this one dude, Ham God, he made like a really big video on it. He killed so many dark bowers waiting out Chronicle for the engineer. Is that the and... guy I watched? That was a wonderful video. I subscribed to that guy. I don't know if I don't remember his name, but yeah, he was. Yeah, he made he what killed you... a lot of dark bows. What did he PK like thirty dark bows in a video? Yeah, or something? something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. It. I, that was amazing. I love that guy, dude. That guy made a great video. Yeah. Oh, dude, fantastic. That's that's great content right there, man. PvP hardcore hunters and just progress videos, man. Top tier content that you probably will not get on any other MMO. Probably ever. Oh, unless it's Tarkov, man. The superior MMO. But hey, that's another story for another day. Uh, unless, Yo. you, unless you gotta make a whole new account, right? I don't know. True. Telly Tubby King, it's been a pleasure, my friends. Uh, we're gonna wrap this up here unless you have anything else to speak about. Uh, shout out to DLH. Guy just keeps making accounts every time he dies. Keeps going for 83 Hunter. He doesn't give a shit. And he just keeps dying. He doesn't care. I think he's on like his seventh PvP Hawkeye now. Oh my god. Holy crap. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's almost as many as Alfie. Oh Guy god. just, he just keeps going. He just keeps going. And then, uh, shout out to PvP Hawkeye on Discord. And yeah, that's about it. Sweet. Well, dude, it's yeah, been a pleasure. Shows. It's shows. been a pleasure having you on, man. Uh, do you have any social medias that you'd like to shout out? Where can the people find you, mate? Uh, YouTube, Teletubby King. Twitter, Teletubby King. With a Y. And I guess that's it, really. I don't really have any anything else. Fantastic. Well, dude, thank you very you much for coming on, man. It was a great You're time. You're welcome. And, um, I feel like I've learned a lot. I didn't know half of the same, stuff about PvP hardcores. I had no idea about like the eight hunters and stuff like that. Very interesting. Yeah, to learn yeah. about uh, this yeah, whole other scouts. side of the PvP. Yeah, yeah it's the stuff it you is. don't see in the videos. The cheating behind the scenes. Hunt. You should do. You should do a behind the scenes, man. Maybe that's what you should do now. If you have any like leftover clips or anything. What we uh, need is Sir Puggers to. Uh, team up with Netflix and get some real behind the scenes documentary. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what we need, dude. I told him, hey, yo, I'm, well, I didn't tell him. I just said it out loud. I was hoping he was there to hear it, but I would totally do like uh, a partnership trying to make hour long docs on real crazy events going on behind the scenes on RuneScape. Because I swear, I don't know any other game where there's that much in the black market. <laughs> there's too much. There's so much going on. It's, I don't know if it's yeah. even a good thing. I have no idea. I mean, I think Jagex have a lot to do in regards to that. And, excitingly enough, we have Mod Matt K on next week. So he will be our next guest on the podcast for anyone watching on YouTube. And uh, if any of you guys have any questions that you would like us to ask him, let us know on this YouTube video if there's anything specific. Because we talk about a lot of issues in the game. And it's just a case of there are a lot of issues at the moment. I feel like technology's just advanced to the point where it's like RuneScape's so old 
there's obviously some very gaping flaws with it. Um, Please don't use the word gaping. <laughs> gaping flaw. You like that? Dude. Wait, that's the only time I you use gaping. What do you all. mean? You ever heard Where it in I? any other context? I just didn't like it coming out of your mouth. It was just, oh, you just, oh, it just sounds dirty. <laughs> but yeah, let us know if you have any questions. And uh, I mean, bro, I've got like a whole fucking notepad on my desktop right now. Literally like three pages long with things I'm going to ask Mom Matt K. I'm coming back and I got some hard hitting questions. I don't want some that. fucking answers, dude. I need them. Right. Anyways, boys, thank you very much for watching. Telly Toby King, you're a legend, mate. Goodbye. Next time you go, is. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Nice.